Uh, yeah, so I got some bad news, guys. <gasps> bad news. Dun, bro. dun, dun. Unfortunately, I got let go at work. Dude. Oh. Yep. I feel like I owe it to you guys to explain what's going on. Okay. It's pretty recent, but I did end my relationship with my girl. Yeah. What is the girl equivalent mm -hmm. of where my hug at? It's kind of like you thirsty for that attention yeah, kind, yeah, of, yeah. kind of vibe. So, number one, it's... um. Stop and it hits your arm. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But you get icked out by that? No, oh, actually, I actually, I love that though. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Nine for Nine podcast. I'm your host Jason Kim. Yes, sir. Join with my brother Paulie. <laughs> Hello. And then on my left we got Megan. You? Oh my god! <laughs> Stop trying to copy me, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna say Megan. You? <laughs> <laughs> and then on my right we got Tola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god oh hell no oh, was good. let's go yeah. <laughs> what's going on uh, everybody you can see guys everyone's in a very funny goofy yeah. mood yeah. yeah it's like 11 p.m yeah, yeah bro yeah. this is crazy yeah um Late first night. time tony's not in the back yeah. so we had to set everything up on our own we did we did tony. yeah loki a little difficult man it, oh for sure <laughs> yeah first time using the cameras by oh, ourselves yeah. and shit oh yeah I we got a little spoiled, spoiled with tony <laughs> for real we did we did yeah 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 we yeah. also got this like skinny lamp dude yeah, yeah. that's not LED doing LED shit guys, yeah. guys. <laughs> sorry if it's a little dark actually yeah, let's let's yeah. preface that yeah. if it's a little dark my bad yeah we'll get the lights by next week for yep, sure yep yep yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. even yeah. big borrow guys you know yeah, yeah. yeah. couldn't <laughs> borrow today though <laughs> But uh, let's talk about dumbfounded. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we had him on last weekend, yeah. and we just uh, what's it called? We released the episode. We did. What do you guys? Think? Yeah. What did you guys think of that episode? I loved it. Yeah. I think it was a great um, guest episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Hundred percent agree. Yeah. One of our smoothest, like least awkward. Like yeah. it actually seemed like we're boys with him, yeah. bro. You know? And I was like, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. No, it helped because he was more like funny. He was. He was, he was right. funny. Guy. He was putting in that energy for us. He so was. It was, he was easy for us. Putting that energy right, in. Yeah. right. 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 Yeah. I still can't believe you actually showed him your rap video. <laughs> <laughs> and the comment is like, we need to get Jason new clothes. <laughs> Yo, you guys got my boy wearing the blue jeans today. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, all right. Hey, fuck y'all. <laughs> Yo, all right brought out the fucking pants and shit let's go baby let's right. go yo let me be honest with you bro yeah do you think dumbfounded was being nice to your for your song reaction or, <laughs> or was he being sincere was he being sincere i mean obviously bro like i prefaced man. right no, first time did. rapping you and did. shit yeah, yeah even yeah, yeah. in the song yeah i, know. <laughs> yeah. I think he's being somewhat serious actually though i think uh i mean obviously he can't say like yo it's shit yeah. you know he would yeah, never yeah, say yeah. that he would yeah, never yeah, say yeah. that but yeah. uh i mean he said uh what's it called he sounded like or he said that I sounded like it wasn't my first time. Right, 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 so, right. I mean, I, hopefully that's true. I had a little hard one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. 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 It took me a second to. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. Oh, no. Dude, nah. it's just feeling like a hangout today, guys. Yeah, so I'm yeah, busting yeah. out yeah. the real jokes, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I need dumbfounded <laughs> on the feature, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, for real though. No, I need don't find it on the feature. You bro. should do my idea. <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah, from, oh, from like that yeah, episode. him saying the one line. Cut out oh, the audio no. featuring. Dumb <laughs> <laughs> This uh, ain't his first time. Dude, <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. <clears throat> but we about to go on his yes. in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully that's out soon. Yeah. Like, well, actually, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Not, not he sure. Might have you guys shit stacked up. Yeah. You guys excited to go on his podcast? Though? Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm like, I just want to see like the the production. The yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh you know? yeah. Dude, I seen he sinks uh, Instagram stories of it. Yeah. So professional. Wow. Bro. Oh, for sure. Whole bro. ass room, like beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grown ass man, bro. He's yeah. Have <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a real studio for sure. Okay, true, I'm true. just glad we upgraded our iPhones to our cameras yeah, yeah, before dude. he came. Nah, Same. He was the big push to like get yeah, our shit he rolling. Yeah. He was. He was. ASAP, ASAP, yeah. ASAP. He was. We should have yeah. told him that, low key, but yeah. did we not? We tell him that. I, I kind of said we recorded our phone. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 We're gonna see him again. So oh, yeah, yeah, we are, we are, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Any other updates? Well, I'm going to be on tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's tomorrow. I'm well, why so aren't you going? Excited. Bro, I, I, I like mean, I'm on 75 tomorrow? hard. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's tomorrow? Beyond. <gasps> Tomorrow's yeah. beyond. I'm sorry. <gasps> hey, you better be good for the dump out and shoot. Oh, my it's, God. It's in, yeah, it's on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, I know. And you going both days, Friday, Saturday. I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll wake up in time. Chill <laughs> with the extracurriculars, all right? <laughs> I'm about to have a good time. And hey, you got Ray Bay this time? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah, the you play. Hey, you know We're not going to say T yet. We're not going to say Because okay, okay. it hasn't happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you got someone locked in, though. We have not. You know, I'm saying anything. Okay. Oh, oh, so it's serious this time. If you're keeping it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah, like, yeah. she's ah, like, ah. Oh, yeah, next time I get, next time I get a man, it's gonna be all private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's keep this all down low, bro, for her. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, spent ten, spent ten minutes talking about this guy here. They just kill my vibe every time I just say something nice. Wait, what? but you know this is us. Know, wait, wait, this is yeah, yeah, happy yeah. for you. I know. What do you I, was mean? Literally, I was literally joking. Oh, okay, okay. okay oh, that was me okay, joking. Okay, okay, okay. Are you? Yeah, yeah. No, I was actually joking. You excited? Wanna... Wait, you excited? Wait, but why is Megan? <laughs> no, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. <laughs> no, I am excited. <laughs> I think it's done though. The... Also, the lineup is great. Who are you most looking forward to? Subtronics. Again. <laughs> well, technically, Sub-team. I haven't seen a full set of his. Oh, mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And I had a pretty bad time at Beyond last year, so mm. I have to make up for it. Oh, you feel shoot. me? Yeah, yeah. You got to make up for it for mm-hmm. sure. Sorry, Casim is on it. I'm being oh, so serious. Are you, are you, are you oh, being no. serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm being so <laughs> no, being no, I know so he was being serious. You that, right? No, no, I, I, yeah, no. Okay, let, me, let me be honest. Literally every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I realize I have a tendency, right? At yeah. the end, like I'm being serious. I'm like trying uh, to uh, transition. Oh, transition. Oh, leeway. Oh, yeah, yeah, but okay, the, the gotcha, leeway gotcha. always sounds sarcastic <laughs> for some reason. So they always question me. Paul, you always sound sarcastic. But I know you well enough now. know. You hate rabies. Like, yeah, you got to watch that whole set for sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I am a sarcastic guy. Dude, you're super sarcastic. But like, in I don't know, I was being so serious. Yeah, but any, yeah, anyways, yeah, anyways, hello, what you been up to? I've been busy, bro. Yeah, hello, I'm busy. Just, yeah, it's busy. crazy because I came here, I had no food, and I was like, oh, I'm so hungry. And Paul was like, you want some kimchi chicken? Yeah, I have some kimchi bro, chicken some here. fucking Korean stew and uh, shit. Yeah. It hit the soul. Hit the soul? I appreciate you. I'm <laughs> glad, of course, of course. <laughs> Wait, how, how are those new things you're doing going these days? Like, I see you posting this art all of oh, a sudden. Oh, yeah. Modeling, yeah, 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 like... Yeah. You know, I've been doing some stuff. Today, I'm like very low energy because I was mm. running on the entire day. But she acting a little. She modeling a little. Right, right, she right. painting a little. She a woman of many talents. Yeah. You know? And she podcasts too. That's yeah, crazy. you know? Wait, I got a couple questions. Mm. Like, about the acting. Mm. Like, what type of act? Like, are you trying to do movies, TV shows? Like, whatever. Whatever will like, come I, my I way. I feel like you do great in commercials. Co- me too. Big <laughs> commercial. She's yeah. not trying to do no commercials, man. She's not trying. Do no, no, if I like, gotta start there, I'll like, start there. <laughs> Korean skincare commercials. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll like see. with the water droplets. What's the dream so though? Like, like The dream is a feature long film. Wow. Mm, yeah. Big ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. ticket. A-list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We trying to get there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Union. I could yeah. see. Yeah, trying yeah. to get there. Union. How's yeah. like, um, like, so you've got obviously gone to like castings, right? Mm-hmm. How are those? Oh, yeah. They give you the script and you got to like start reading it, right? Bro, it's scary. It's scary. It's scary because you will walk into a room with 20 other girls looking exactly like you. No oh. Way. oh, they all look it's like, similar. It's like, what is this like? <laughs> it's like Inception. Like, it's, it's scary. Wait, is it because they're all going for the same role? Same yeah, role. Yeah. Does yeah. it say, oh wait, wait, does it say like looking for Asian girls? Yes. yes. Oh, no way. Girl, it does? Dark hair or brunette. Like, yeah, yeah it has everything. 20, 18 to 20 years old. Mm-hmm. But I still submit to those. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you know, Do you, I, you should. I auditioned for something that was a middle schooler. A middle schooler? Uh, yes. <laughs> like you think, uh, middle what, school. what are you trying to say? Middle school. What are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I think too old, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're middle schooler. <laughs> you were about to be a middle schooler? Yes. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> but the, Asians can pass more. But the thing could. is, because they they have to cast older people, because like legalities and oh, all guardians mm-hmm. and all that. True. So. Yeah, true. like Zendaya's played a high schooler for like exactly. 20 years oh, yeah. now. High school, cool. High, high school, school, middle school is crazy. I mean, can I pass though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Middle school is like 13. That's half your age. Shut up, okay? <laughs> Shut what? up. As long as my acting can do the job, I'm okay. <laughs> You know what though? I, on a <laughs> serious note, mm. I think we would all love to see you act or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a little yeah. segment or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be fine. fine. Oh, on oh, here. Oh, yeah, oh, on here. <laughs> no, not on here. You're making a quick. Li- Dude, we used to act. <laughs> Dude, we used to. Oh, act. Really? I'm, I'm a great comedian when it comes to acting. <laughs> she is. She is. She is. She is. <laughs> That's hella, hella dope though. But yeah, but once I get there, I'll bring y'all up with me. You Dude, know, yeah, that's course, the plan. Bro, of that's really the plan. We'll be at the what's it called? Red carpet for your movie. <laughs> yeah, just give us like yeah, the plus yeah, one yeah. shit. Uh-huh. You know, we'll take it. We're there. We're there. Yeah, we're for sure there. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Paul? Uh, yeah. So I got some bad news, guys. <gasps> bad news. Dun dun dun. Unfortunately, I got let go at work. Dude, oh yep. my god, they let me go. They let me no, go. The PT stuff, right? The PT stuff. Yeah. They gave me my two weeks. Um, <gasps> yeah, they're laying me off. So next week is my last week. Damn. Wait, how did they bring this up to you? 
Yeah, so it's actually funny because like I don't know. Okay, if I'm being real with you guys, yeah. uh, hopefully you know the boss doesn't see this. But like the last couple of weeks, my performance at work's been a little <laughs> somewhat lackadaisical. Like yeah. I feel like not optimal, you know. Yeah. Um. So I just felt like in the back of my mind, oh, like I don't know, I should be weary of something. Yeah. 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 And then um, that Friday, so last Friday, right? Um, there's a message. One of the workers got fired. <gasps> like she dips every group chat and she got fired. Oh. Right. So then Monday comes around. And then morning, right when I log in, 8 a.m., he's yeah. like, Paul, let's hop on a call. I was like, <gasps> already, bro? Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like a company so layoff. Kind of yeah, started. yeah, yeah. It's a wow. I felt it for is some it, reason. So it's not even on you. It's just like yeah. the company is like sizing mm. down. Kind of. Like he was saying, like, I don't know if he was being nice because obviously, like, we're kind of boys. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah. So I don't know if it's one of those where he's like, oh, it's not your fault because he wants to be nice. Or he's just saying that and like my performance actually wasn't good. But I think what he did tell me was that like they need a full-time worker. Because right yeah. now I only work 20 hours a week. Yeah. And my hours are kind of like sporadic. Yeah. Yeah. And he was also saying, he's like, bro, you like optimize what you could do here. Because at this point, I'm just like, a machine. Mm. I'm doing shit that like anyone without a degree could do. Mm. Right. So right. he was like, bro, you might as well like go out to a hospital and shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. But like with that being said, I feel like he doesn't understand that like that's like my main source of income right now. Right. Yeah. So it's like, fuck, without that. And I can't work while I'm in school. Mm. like normal because that job let me work whenever basically yeah. right right 6 to 10 p.m random ass shit yeah yeah but you're not going to school every day are you no no i'm not yeah so yeah we'll see how that goes i mean i'm gonna try to figure out like something obviously yeah. i need a cup i need some bread so something. i think maybe this is a sign maybe. that it's gonna push you to be more into hospital work because we just talked about it too we did talk you know? about it we did talk about it. and honestly i've been sucking so much so bad in school mm. so maybe this was like a sign to also just like focus on school, on school and at yeah. least like do well to finish out mm -hmm. and then maybe start again in summer getting volunteer hours or whatever i think this will be good because you have i feel like you've been a little burnt out i have that's you know? another thing so you've i was like is it god like just yeah. tell mm -hmm. me bro like just chill out bro. i think like, you use this break yeah. and then use that energy you've saved up to really you know <sighs> yeah dude hopefully hopefully mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. yeah hopefully so how many people got laid off so in total two but like mm -hmm. the office staff is only five got it oh so there's three left so there's three left and then like the therapist is still a therapist there's like 40 yeah but like the office was real small mm. so it's yeah. like that's a big impact you know what i mean 40%. yeah like they're gonna need to like i don't know maybe they're just gonna hire one dude that's gonna do it all now i, I think yeah. that's what they are gonna do yeah because yeah. they also hired a guy who was way too qualified in the past and then yeah. he like did a bunch of shit that i know that's like not in the job description like he made a whole website a new mm. website oh. and everything yeah, yeah. so it's like they're probably they're looking for just like oh better people. Yeah. Mm. yeah but it's okay new opportunities yeah. it'll yeah. give you a chance to also think like okay what is the next move that will actually elevate my career that is true i you was know? very comfortable yeah. exactly was, something was. that will motivate you inspire you yeah I mean, it's a part-time shit bro like, it is it is but i was like thinking like you know like I, I, i'm gonna work for this guy once i'm done with pt school type mm. shit too yeah yeah because like i like what he has to offer the therapist itself mm. yeah not really the office but but yeah, that's enough. But if you if you guys got a job opportunity, you know, uh, send it yeah. my way. LinkedIn is <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm playing. But uh, no, but but actually, but Paul, whenever I always get impressed by Paul in like oh. our business meetings, because oh, really? I actually feel like Paul, you actually have a very systematic approach to oh. problem solving. <laughs> really? Yeah, like actually, I'm not even like I'm dead ass. Like every time Paul would be like. Okay, but you always like bring us back on track, or like you mm -hmm. always like be like, okay, what about the process? Like, you what's do, do, do. what's happening this day, this this day? So, Sheesh, if anybody needs that skill, <laughs> pause your guy. Thank yeah. you, thank <laughs> you, <laughs> Blazing, thank you. Yo, hit me up, bro. Hit me up, bro. Big research boy over here. Nah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> Dude, my research was literally like two interviews, fam. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm trying to hype you up. I'm okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, okay, moving on to the yeah, next guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's your update? Jason? Jason. What's been going on with you, brother? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I feel like we're family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I've been so open with you guys from the start. You have. Yeah. There really hasn't been a thing I haven't said. This whole process, yeah, literally. And I've gotten in trouble by so many. <laughs> different people <laughs> yeah. for saying, saying too much yeah for saying so much shit right, you know, obviously right. like i feel like i owe it to you guys to explain what's going on okay it's pretty recent but i did end my relationship with my girl yeah it wasn't i didn't i didn't end it we broke up mutually mutually yeah okay. yeah let's get that yeah let's get that okay um but i don't want to get into too many of the details of course yeah, yeah it's too yeah, fresh yeah. yeah but um how you feeling though that's the main thing i feel like everyone wants to know dude it's just like uh, has it hit you? Yeah, has it hit it you? It was, I don't. It hasn't hit me. Oh, really? Oh. It hasn't hit me because, like, right when we broke up, I was focused on, yo, I gotta prepare for dumbfounding. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. And then, um, dude, but I mean, I am sad. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, 
without getting too much into it, right? I think we both kind of realized that we weren't compatible for each other. Mm. Okay. Like, I'll say it like this. <laughs> We both wanted things from each other mm-hmm. that we couldn't give. Mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah. right. Right? Yeah. So she wanted some things from me that I couldn't give her. Mm-hmm. And I wanted some things from her that she couldn't give me. And uh, like I said, it hasn't hit me yet. Um, but honestly, like, it's, it's sad, bro. Because I've, I've sure. been with her for like, so I've been dating her for like six months. Yeah. And I've been talking to her for over a year. Right, right, yeah. right. And I met her back in my senior year of college. Yeah. So we got so many memories right. together, bro. And right, it's right, like, right. Um, I haven't even told my mom yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Or like none of my family. Yeah, yeah. Just the homies. Just the close homies. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Can I ask like what you kind of been doing like to like, I don't know. I know you don't feel sad yet, but like I know you've been grinding like low key, like mm-hmm. going to the gym, hell. And I feel like you've just been folk- more dialed in. Yeah. Since. I mean, I feel like, I mean, I was going to the gym just because yeah. of the 75 hardship. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, um, yeah, now, dude, I'm going to just do me, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. Honestly, like, I'm a broke motherfucker, bro. I can't be in a relationship. I mean, you it's know all what good. I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it's all good, yeah. Like, I got to get my bread up. I got to focus on the pod. I got to regain focus on the pod, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes mm-hmm. I was putting my girl over the pod. Of course, which is natural, too, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, dude, I'm going to just... Get back to work. Right. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, so if I say something weird, right. you guys know that obviously I'm not in a relationship. Mm-hmm. No right, more, right, right. So I can say the weird stuff again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Honestly, bro, yeah. I, I could say like from being your boy's perspective, and like I, I know the viewers want to hear this, bro. Um, Prime Jason is gonna come out real soon, mm. guys. Like honestly, um, we're still growing, you know. But like mm-hmm. the last time Jason was single, we were much smaller. <laughs> and all I'm gonna say is like you know the quality is gonna go up. Um, there's all kinds of videos you know that I we agree, couldn't do before that. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. So nah, bro. I'm I'm off the girls, bro. Yeah, you're off. Uh, the, I'm really off the girls. Bro. Content. <laughs> no, I'm saying I think with Jason, if he puts his mind to something, yeah. he's gonna do it. Mm-hmm. You feel right, me? Right, right. And I think that you know we have a great support system. Like literally, you guys are family. You right. know. So yeah. I wish, I really wish that I brought her on here one time and you guys could have met her. Yeah. Because she's honestly one of the nicest, most pure hearted people I've ever met. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, Hella she's nice. so nice. Mm-hmm. She's very, very and, nice. And um, yeah, I wish I really did bring her on one time to interview. Um, I know, like, I posted some vlogs with her, but you don't really, you can't really tell her personality. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and don't be going saying some shit to her either. Yeah. Don't be, yeah, don't yeah, be yeah, in yeah. her yeah. DMs either. Chill like off the that. comments. No yeah. Comments. Yeah, it's all love. Right. Um, what do you feel like you've like learned either mm. through the relationship about yourself or even about the breakup? Like, mm-hmm. is there anything that like stands out with this relationship that you learned specifically? Uh, there's just things that I've learned that I need from a girl. Mm. I won't go into that. Obviously, that's going to expose right. Right. what mm-hmm. she wasn't mm-hmm. giving to me. Right. right. There's but that's so important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't want to say it like this, but I feel like <laughs> after every girl or guy mm-hmm. relationship, you learn like more things you need. Exactly. Oh, more things you, so more true. things you expect hella for your true. next. So yeah. much, yeah. so true. so much. Yeah, it's, true. it's a moment of clarity. I feel like, yeah. you know, but right. it's just like it sucks because like we're so compatible in all the other ways. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Like she was the first girl that ever understood my humor. <laughs> to it like to like i'm a weird right? motherfucker you know what i mean <laughs> and instead of like looking at me weird like she's she would laugh, laugh. with me yeah. you know yeah, yeah. you know what i mean i yeah. could just you know what i'm saying right yeah. so like there were so many things like that that clicked mm. but just the uh, yeah there were some things that didn't and like i didn't want to i think we both wanted to end it before like we started hating each other. Yeah. yeah mm. You know what I mean? No, definitely, bro. Because like I definitely, we definitely could have tried. Uh-huh. Like we definitely could have tried. And um, like I almost wish that one of us like cheated so that we, so that we could just be run, angry. Yeah. So we oh. could run away and never look back. Dude, right, this is literally right, one right. of my questions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, but right now I'm just like, yo, we really could be dating and still trying. Mm. Right, right, right. But we just decided after Not so many speak. times, let's yeah. let's just end it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can't say anything. I yeah. think I think with the with questions like this, it's always like the what if, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think it's it's hard to like hold on to that too much because then you're going to think about more ways, you know? And I think with like there's a pathway with relationships, you know, just let it flow, see how you're feeling, you know? 
-hmm. and feel all your feelings. Yeah. I also feel like <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like uh, for me at least, after every every breakup, I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, like how am I gonna find somebody? who loves me this much, who understands mm, me this much. Like, right. I'm always, like, so hopeless after right. relationship. Like, yeah. right. damn, like, I, this person is the only person in the whole world that'll get my humor yeah. or that'll understand me in, when I'm this vulnerable or whatever. But I've, after each breakup, I learn and I realize, like, there's actually somebody, mm -hmm. so many people out there who can appreciate, can appreciate me at an even higher level mm. or you or in a different unique level right, so i right, feel like right. at that, yeah. i'm always like hopeless i'm like ah oh, how am i gonna find another person yeah you know? yeah but i each each new relationship i'm i'm like wow like it's better and better it's like whoa like i had never had imagined to have this type of love or it could be with the same person yeah, yeah. you know it, it could be your ex again mm -hmm. but it, it can be a completely different new type of love and evolved love so yeah. even though it's hopeless now i feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel yeah yeah that's for sure that's a big thing you said yeah i felt that i was like wow i put a lot of effort into this relationship mm -hmm. and now it's like all for nothing right? yeah you know what i mean it's yeah. not all for nothing i mean yeah. it kind of is yeah you but it's like, like it goes it's it like feels, yeah. damn yeah, it everything feel like the time energy you put into it the love you put into the relationship it's all gone yeah yeah and it's crazy <laughs> like sh she becomes that you know the <clears throat> most like, I don't really text, you know that. Mm -hmm. right, right. And, like, she was the person I talked to the most. Right. And in a span of a week. It's not gone. Right. Yeah. I'm never going to talk to her again. It's yeah. like, yo. That's the craziest like, shit. You know shit. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that is that's the stranger. The yeah. Yeah. That's the craziest like, shit. That's the craziest shit. I'm just like, so it really hasn't even hit me yet. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, they're not only your girl, but they're your best friend. Yeah. They're your confidant. Like, yeah. they're your therapist. They're yeah. literally yeah. Like everything. Everything. You just see them the most. You exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. a big person to replace for it's sure. It's so crazy to see how you're dealing with a breakup as like a girl would deal with a breakup, you know? Yeah. It's, it's so different. <laughs> so different. It's so black and white. <laughs> and like honestly, I'm proud of you. You know, it's hard to talk about this stuff already. So yeah. 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 me you too. Know? I'm actually very I'm I've very never surprised. seen Jason like this vulnerable. No, me neither. I'm not even like like I, I'm no, still no, trying no, to, no, I'm still thing, trying to stay thing. hard right now. I know, I know. It's a good thing. No, no, no. <laughs> but, 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 trust me. As a girl, yeah. this side of you is like what brings so much depth to you. Yeah. Like yeah. we're like you know like so I actually like love seeing this side of Jason. <laughs> I'm like I want to talk more. Let's like open up. what are some other things that you're like? You know? <laughs> like, like I want to <laughs> dig deeper. Like therapy session, real quick. <laughs> crazy, yeah, bro. I deeper. But crazy, also, bro. one of the things that I want just hearing you say that like how like she really understood your humor. Yeah. Because like humor is like a big part of your identity. Mm -hmm. Huge. Mm -hmm. Huge. You know. Huge. So I can only imagine like how almost like devastating that is. Yeah. You it's know. Like, yeah. But. I, it seems like you had different priorities. Like there was other things that were more important that yeah. didn't work. You know what yeah. I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's partly my fault too. I think of, mm. I'll go into it because this was my problem that I did. Mm -hmm. I prioritize the my work, mm -hmm. the pod, like social media mm -hmm. over her sometimes. Mm. And obviously as any girl, as any partner, you, you're not going to like that. Right. Yeah. So that caused some problems. And I do apologize for that. And uh, like that drive back when I went mm -hmm. to her house and we talked, like I just like it's an hour drive. She an hour away. Yeah. I fucking like balled out, bro. Mm -hmm. I can't even lie, bro. I put on some loose Capaldi, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was playing like someone you love oh, and, no. uh, and bruises and bruises on repeat. I was balling, bro. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and I was just thinking back to like. You know my graduation she was there mm. like every like memory every rave she was she was there yeah, yeah. and i'm like damn bro, she never gonna be there again mm. so but trust me i feel like those moments that you have in the car are so precious yeah like those those like alone moments that you can just fucking be in your feels mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i feel like are such gold moments because like you feel all the subtleties of that emotion yeah, yeah yeah you're feeling it to the full length not in front of anybody, anybody. you could be as you open, know most vulnerable as you can no True. One's yeah it's True. like i feel like those moments like is almost like just healing yeah i agree you know like the moments that i remember the most from my breakup is when i was by myself mm -hmm. and i was literally like 
ripping the walls off because <laughs> I was crying so much, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm sitting there with a pile of his clothes in front of me, like, <laughs> hugging no! that shit and just Smelling screaming it. and bawling my eyes out. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> look at me now. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, time heals all wounds. And yeah, yeah. you have not one, not two, but three Yeah. yeah. And, and the homies here 30K now. 30K other people out there yeah. who are rooting for you. Facts. Yeah. And Facts. only want to see you grow yeah no, that's facts that's that's a huge thing too man i got so many pieces of her in my still in my room mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying my water bottle is mm -hmm. decorated by her mm -hmm. my phone case mm -hmm. is the one that she gifted mm -hmm. so i don't know even know what to do with all that <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like keep it this time around bro it's keep it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. before this guy would always fucking get rid there of it right? yeah. but I, I have to throw everything away. you have to throw it, yeah. <laughs> yeah i think for me it's just like out of sight out of mind i can't if I like see a little thing reminding me of it, you know, I don't want it. I don't want to backtrack into something. Mm. That's how I feel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the right move is. Like, keep that shit. You throw that shit. I don't know. I think everybody's different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I still have stuff from yeah. my long ago ex, mm -hmm. but it's just like now, like instead of having hatred or like anger or guilt or shame, mm -hmm. it's like you know what? This is a good memory. Yeah. It's gonna cherish. That's exactly what yeah. I'm cherished for what it is. I, yeah. What I did, I put everything in a box and I just shoved it in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like you were putting it in the trash can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's just there. It's just not in right. your purview, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I was just gonna say, like, in a perfect world, like where everyone's not thinking about all that toxic shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like there might be a way, bro. Honestly, for you to just like kind of enjoy the memories you had with her through those pieces you had, exactly. with while forgetting mm -hmm. about the relationship. Yeah. Itself. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, like those memories too, bro. Like I mean, we already talked and shit, and I, I, I like I told him, and like he's gonna be fine. Like I know yeah, Jason. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. in the end, no, like yeah, there's just shit I don't want to say, but he's gonna be chilling. I know him, you know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like I don't know. I just feel like you could still maybe. It's probably hard. I've never experienced it, but maybe mm -hmm. try to enjoy those. You know, like for example, your water bottle, bro. Like, you're really, really gonna get a new water <laughs> bottle. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And exactly. It's like just like, like damn, I remember when she put this shit on here, but yeah. it's like. Maybe you guys just weren't the right match, you know? Yeah. yeah. But it, it's okay, too, if you want to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I think it's more of not, like, getting rid of it as in, like, a hatred feeling, but yeah, just yeah, more yeah. of, like, a not... You don't need to be reminded. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. 100%, for sure. <clears throat> I have a comment on the work versus love priority mm -hmm. thing. Mm. I feel like that's something that a lot of, like, the 20s... Struggle. have a hard time yeah. balancing yes. for sure for sure you know it's like in high school it's like the like friends or boyfriend yeah <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, friends or partner yeah. yeah but i feel like in your 20s it's work work right. and partner especially like right. after college now oh yeah oh yeah that's you know? the biggest yeah yep. but i think a part of me like being in the rela relationship that i am in right now right um i feel like how should i say this i feel like being able to prioritize your partner obviously that's important uh -huh. but i think that actually comes with like like your like t time or and maturity yeah mm. why, do, why do i say maturity like maturity <laughs> like Wait, what do you mean by that though? i'm a little confused. yeah i yeah. feel like the older you get uh -huh. like the better the easier it is to prioritize your partner Okay. oh i see what you're saying the older you get the older you get yeah why I, does it get easier i think it's because like you get to build your foundation in your like early yes, to mid exactly. 20s yeah oh. i think work mm. also like our age right now like 21 to 24 ish like is when you're trying to find your main job or yeah. explore really, your who you are exactly you know? you're really only thinking about I need to make this much money so I could make rent. You know what I mean? So I feel right. like that's why when you get older, like you said, you have a foundation. You have a foundation. So you now have, you can set aside work yeah, yeah, yeah. to be with your You partner. got a little cushion oh, to fall back on. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I can skip a couple of days of work to mm -hmm. spend time with my girl. But I feel like when we're still figuring out who we are, it's like, of course it's hard. Of course it's a dilemma. Mm -hmm. I haven't even figured out who the hell I am. How am I going to give myself to this partner? Mm -hmm. So I feel like um while it is important to prioritize the people you care about mm -hmm. i think it's normal and very natural in our age to like struggle with that mm -hmm. yeah you know mm -hmm. like from coming from a girl's perspective with jason's relationship kind of thing it was kind of a similar thing where like my man like really prioritized his work mm. but i was i was like a year i was two years younger than him so i didn't understand like the work after college mm -hmm. vibe and like now like seeing it from another perspective wait 
totally had a whole last thing I was going to say. I forgot. <laughs> it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Wait, it was literally so important. <laughs> About work. Work, uh, love, yeah, balance. Work. It was pretty much saying, like, I, I kind of hated him for mm-hmm. prioritizing work so much. Yeah, and right. we kept that shit going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we kept it going. Even, like, it was, like, such a thing, like, where it was, like, for me, it was, like, you have to kiss me bye before you leave to work. <laughs> but mm-hmm. he would just leave. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aww, and it was, that's so, it was cute. so like these little things too, you know? Like yeah. it was like I packed him lunch to work every single day. Wow. <laughs> that's insane. He can say thank you. You know yeah, what I mean? Wifey material. But right we yeah. we kept that shit going and I think that it's a really good thing that you guys didn't let you guys didn't let you guys hate each other. Yeah. You know, because it got to the point where we hated each other. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. it's so that's the biggest much most mature thing. Yeah. Is that you are not letting yourself hate it because you're yeah. at that point you're just gonna drag it on because you're just holding on to like memories and comfort. Yeah. But if you cut it off, it's just gonna be so much better because you have no, no anger and hatred. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it really turning to that anger mm. soon. Mm. Soon. Yeah. So I think that was a good choice, but <coughs> it is also a hard choice because like sometimes I'm thinking like, yo, is like I could really be back together and like. you know what i mean mean? like yeah yeah yeah. and that's completely fine too like if this makes anybody feel any better my uncle Mm -hmm. is someone that i absolutely respect Mm -hmm. like he's the person that i want to be is my uncle Mm -hmm. yeah just an amazing person Mm -hmm. but he is with his his wife my Mm -hmm. aunt and they broke up like nine times Wow. wow before they got married before they got married wow they broke up nine times but wow. when i tell you i respect this man i look at his family mm-hmm. and the relationship that they have with each other it's the most loving this is the family that i want to have one day wow. but they went through nine breakups nine like you you, you think that that type of family crazy. is like a high school sweetheart type love right, but right. Yeah. nah they yeah. worked through that shit so many times nine so. is like you are meant to be though there's, <laughs> a, there's a reason why you guys keep getting back together yeah, yeah, exactly know? like after like the fifth one it's like okay we gotta just get married yeah, yeah. Like, exactly yeah, what the? exactly, exactly. Yeah. but just knowing that story i was like ah okay it is okay and possible to yeah. go back to your ex or mm-hmm. work things out i feel like the toxic cancel culture these days it's so toxic. It is like, a little toxic. You know, yeah. like he's so toxic. I'm gonna cut him out and not work on this shit. Yeah. 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 But you know. Dude, that's crazy. Nine times. Nine yeah. Times. I'm the type of guy. If you like, either take a break, or you even break up once, it's over. Like, yeah. That's how I kind of feel I'm too. Like that. You I'm know what I'm like saying? Like. But that's why you brought up a good point because I yeah. feel like a lot of kids like in our generation are like, all right, once it's over, like it's over. It's just like fuck that person. Like yeah. you know. Yeah. And the stand cycle continues. Is a little you know. Too hard. Yeah. Stand on business a little too hard, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is good too. Obviously. I think. I think in certain points you need to stand on business. Right. Mm-hmm. right, right. But maybe. I mean, not it is all different. cases. Yeah, not all cases. There you go. Yeah. Not all cases. And definitely with your, it's gonna be harder because it was like more healthy breakup you know yeah. and that's literally one of the hardest breakups in my personal opinion mm. because every other way there's like a reason a main reason you can't be with them you know mm. like they're a shit ass person bye mm. or they cheat on you bye yeah. you know they left you know so but i think like you guys even the audience knows you're you're a tough boy <laughs> you know Dude. yeah I, I mean i realized this too like i think i'm a i'm a good guy I think I think I'm a like I said I think I'm a great guy. Okay, but I think I'm like. <laughs> what's, what's the but? What's the but? but I think. But? but I think I am a little bad boyfriend though. Mm. Okay, just ex- expand. I don't think I I do the boyfriend part as well as I should. What do you think? Can you give me like one prime example of what a good boyfriend would be? <laughs> he's like he's, no, no, he's no, no, like no. he's got. Okay, it. I wasn't gonna say this, but this is what it is with Jason, bro. No, no, I think, <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it. No, later, honestly, later, later. honestly, okay, no, Jason, could, you could be a good boyfriend. Yeah. But it's not even that. The main problem, in my opinion, for you, it's the way in which you talk to the girl. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the way you word it bro like honestly i don't even think or you, we could cut this out but i don't even think she was so 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 cheesed about like your work balance like mm. I don't, yeah. it's more like the way you said it for example with yeah. that music you know what i mean yeah, it's like yeah, that yeah. shit or like you told me a couple other times where you like said some <laughs> out of pocket ass shit you yeah know? yeah but you know how to be a good boyfriend but i've seen you like you could take care of the girl you could be nice and shit i think it's just occasionally you'll accidentally slip mm. up and say how you'll say it to the boys. Yeah, no, that that is a big problem. Yeah. Like I'll lay it straight like a homie. Right. Like she wanted the homies. But it's like yeah. so straight from a girl's perspective. Yeah. We're like, yo. That's so true. How many <laughs> times have I gotten mad at you because of the way you say something? 
Yeah, Maybe. no, it's just like, yeah. But I feel like you shouldn't, you don't need to think like you're a bad boyfriend. Bro. Yeah. Oh. I think, no, yeah. I feel like I've seen you, bro. Like, you definitely know how to do it good, bro. Mm hmm. Mm. I mean, you also don't really know how yeah, I am yeah, in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, the intimate <laughs> like, with yeah, you and the girl, yeah, yeah, yeah it could yeah, be different. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. from what I see, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. I think that's actually a lesson that a lot of guys um, need to work on definitely. is like being careful with your words, especially mm -hmm. to your partner. Especially knowing how to talk to the opposite gender. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. like these words, like like even though your intention is not to attack them or hurt them, yeah. it's it like these words, way. once you once it's out of your mouth, you can't take them you can't back. Take them back. Yeah. Dude, I you know. know. I think yeah. it is harder for guys. Yeah, it like, is. There, in the beginning, especially in my relationship, there was times where like, I'm just not used to like, uh, saying it in a certain way, right? right. Mm -hmm. So like my first reaction to something was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. It sounded like how I'd say it to the guys, but it's kind of like a mean way. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yo, what? Yeah, and I was exactly. like, oh, fuck. I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. I let exactly. it slip on accident. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kinda, you kind of have to be careful, especially in front of your girlfriend. You have to speak with emotion with girls. <laughs> Honestly, it's so like, I don't want to like gender, you know what mm. I mean? I don't want to say like you have to do this, but it's it's very true, you know? Like for guys, it's very like, it's easy. Do this. Just fix the problem. Yeah. You know why are you dwelling on it? It is that easy. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is that easy. Yeah. It is. It really is that easy. But you need to work your way to that easy. You know. You can't. But just let me explain it, it from the guy's perspective yeah. and why we we like. <laughs> you guys can see that. We say it like that. Okay. It's uh -huh. because we're like so frustrated right. that mm -hmm. you guys aren't getting it. Right. 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 That you no, guys I get aren't it. understanding what I we're get saying. It, yeah. so I get it. I get it. It's just like. Ugh. Yeah. 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 It comes out. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, with, yeah. with that, I totally understand too. I think like the girl gets it, but she wants you to emotionally feel how she's feeling first of all. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Be like, <laughs> like, like, like there's a situation. I know you're frustrated, but you still gotta say with love. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. exactly. It's, it's like, you know, like your girl is telling you a story, all of this shit happened, okay. you know? And she's like, you know, like give me a reaction mm -hmm. that is like matching with her. Like make it see, make it seem like you're on her side, mm -hmm. pretty much all the way until that last ten percent, and then you could sprinkle in the, you know, mm -hmm. this is how you, you know, you can fix that shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think also one more thing. Sorry, we have so much to say about this. Yeah, I <laughs> love Dude, Jason was trying to keep this brief about this <laughs> shit, bro. What the? Turning into thirty minute guys. <laughs> I just have a lot yeah, to talk one. about. Yeah. Last one, um, because I feel like also. I think something that I, a pattern that I've realized is that the partners that I've had, they have a lot of pride. I've had guys that have a lot yeah, of that's pride. that's a lot of pride. Yeah, too much ego, sure. bro. Yeah. You know? So, like, to uphold that pride, they, like, say things, mm -hmm, you know, that yeah, ends yeah. up hurting. Like, I think it's, like, in this moment, yeah. babe, your pride is not the priority. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that was a big issue. I do think um, I'm becoming more self-aware. And yeah. I do think I am a little bit toxically masculine. Mm. And I I think um, when my pride does get hurt as the man, mm -hmm. as the guy in the relationship, I tend to like take it or like overthink it and kind of take it to the next level. Yep. Mm -hmm. And even though she didn't mean to do it like that, I'm just like, yo. You're taking mm -hmm. She doesn't yeah. respect me, yeah. you know, yeah. type shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's so amazing that, like, you're aware of that. Yes. Yeah. I think every guy has yes. goes through this journey. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's one of the biggest things that guys won't ever be able to fully say out loud. Yeah. And admit. You know yeah. what I mean? And you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, no, this is going to be, like, a emotional <laughs> glow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the emotional no, 75 that hard. That ass, that ass, that ass. Shave a little bit of that tape, tape you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tape's cool. Yeah, honestly, the, tape got better these days. I'm yeah, not even gonna lie. Honestly, I sat down with my girl and I played a tape pod. <laughs> oh, and really? She, and she agreed with all the points that we pick obviously like he he likes to amp it up for the comedic yeah, sense yeah, yeah. but she in this in the basic form of the in the message she agreed with all of it i mean mm. yeah it's more I, so it's more fresh his, and fit bro yeah yeah it's more of his delivery i think he needs to work on yeah, yeah and i think yeah. that's exactly what you know you're doing mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah um i think we should just go into this week's episode yeah yes. <laughs> yeah but um just to end it yeah uh, yeah i got a lot of love for her yeah. yes all right um Nothing bad. And even if I said anything, I don't think I said anything bad. I yeah. literally you you got nothing bad bad to say. Honestly, 
I blame the end of the relationship more on me and my faults than hers. But yeah. Respect. I'm proud respect. of you. Yeah, yeah, respect. No, honestly, big respects. Mm-hmm. I was big surprised big when respect. you when you said that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Big respect for big sure. Big respect. I'm, proud I'm of you. excited mm-hmm. for you and I'm here for you. Yes. Yep. But uh, stay tuned. All right, we finishing off this fucking seventy five hard in about thirty days. So yeah. Yeah. get ready for this fucking get transformation. Some abs for the summer. <laughs> some abs for the summer, dude. Fuck? I might have to extend it for the abs. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna come in thirty. Pop them in for the summertime. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> take the tea off when we're in SF. <laughs> don't let them come a bit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, get ready, man. Let's Let's go. Go. The transformation's coming. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. On another note, all right, we'll finally <laughs> get into the episode, <laughs> all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just a normal episode. We got some questions lined up. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. But I do hope that they enjoyed us catching up with them. It felt yeah. like a little hangout session yeah. real quick. Yeah. Therapy yeah. session. A little therapy session. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, who should, who should start? You want you to start? Want me to ask questions? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to know your guys' tips on being more confident. <sighs> this is hard, bro. Yeah. This is a very hard just question. Who... The reason why I say it's hard is because I try to actually do something like this, explain why on one of, I had a little, like a little Q&A uh-huh. and I couldn't explain like how to get more confident. Mm. It's just one of those where I'm like, dude, you need to get more confident, but I don't know <laughs> how. I feel like. Uh, for me, uh-huh. a lot of it, honestly, it's through my girlfriends. Oh, really? Like I've met people that are confident and I'm like, wow, I love seeing confident energy. I want to be more like that. I feel like a lot of who I am is through like I, I'm like a little picture frame of all my friends you know mm-hmm. what I mean like I just like grow Absorb. more with each one yeah mm-hmm. and a big thing as a girl I feel like for being confident is I honestly just say everything on my mind really? <laughs> that helps with the confidence level. yeah so and I weird. also I don't feel like anything I'm saying is embarrassing I never feel like that I'm very confident about like even if it's so like, you know, a lot of people don't like raves, mm-hmm. for example. I am not ashamed to say I love raves, you know what I mean? Right. Or anime or something like that. Like if you're passionate about something and you show somebody that you're this passionate about it, no one is ever going to think it's embarrassing. They're going to be like, wow, I love how you're able to be so confident about, about this very niche, very like not a lot of people like this topic, you know? Right. I feel like that's my main thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, passion is sexy. Passion is so sexy, Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, No, I actually thought of an answer now. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it, (laughs) I feel like definitely the main thing, and this is hard to do in itself, is like stop worrying about what the other people are saying. Mm Because now that I think about it, most Mm -hmm. of the times when you feel a little insecure, it's because like someone might have said something, you're like, fuck, like, are these shoes whack? Or like, you know what I mean? Like something. Or like, is my skin bad? You know what I mean? So if you could kind of somehow find a way to ignore those and just then you just feel more confident, I think, because you're just like, you don't care whatever you're looking like or what you're wearing. It's just like, I'm me. Mm -hmm. I'm him. Dude, I think that's huge. Not caring what other people think. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. For sure. Including myself. Everyone does, for sure. Yeah. Everyone has insecurities, yeah. Mm. Do you you have like a story or something about that? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. (laughs) I think for me, I think confidence is less to me about what you wear or how you look or Mm -hmm. how you whatever i think it's more about knowing that even if i fail i'll be okay Mm. Mm. to me that's confidence being like hey i can make a fool out of myself and i still hold my ground oh that is you know i think that to me is true confidence and actually here's my nerdy side coming in Uh Uh (laughs) there is a study that says they did like a ted talk where one person was scripted to like fall as they were walking onto the ted talk okay and like make like mistakes right 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 and then they did the same person Uh but a different script was a perfect speech okay and the audience rated who they liked better and who they thought was more confident wow and the audience rating was more heavily sided with the person who fell and made mistakes but still carried on ah <sighs> so there's there's a, st- a sense of humanity yeah yeah, yeah it's real yeah, yeah. it's yeah. more real but mm-hmm. they can still stand there and be like you know what i'm a human i make mistakes yeah i'm not perfect but but like, yet i'm yeah. here mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and i think that is confidence yeah to me. that is confidence yeah. yeah yeah another big thing that was huge for me is honestly nobody is thinking about yourself more than yourself you. <laughs> that's gym too. yeah as an example yeah, Dude, yeah. yeah bro. for real you know what i mean yeah. like literally you think like 
oh my god everyone can see this pimple yeah. you know yeah, yeah. everyone can see my bruise you know yeah mm-hmm. no one gives a shit no facts, yeah. like yeah. and it's i think that's such a great like mind clarity thing too because you could just walk around also don't care mm-hmm. right you know what i mean mm-hmm. nothing Dude, is yeah. you can't think about it as too deep you know for sure bro i fall victim of that one bro i go to the <laughs> gym i see like an ig workout video i'm like oh i'm gonna try that one out today <laughs> <laughs> when i get there i'm like oh, I'm i look like, like a fool, a fool bro. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like you know what i'll do the classic yeah. <laughs> yeah no that it's so hard to do new workouts dude it's so yeah. tough so, <laughs> so tough, tough to do new bro. workouts because <laughs> you know the form's kind of off yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But like <laughs> that guy definitely knows i'm doing this shit wrong <laughs> Oh yeah, but everybody's their own main character. Everyone, yeah, you know? dude, uh, genuinely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you have, have tips fun. for like guys, like how guys can act more confident. I think what we were saying. Yeah. <sighs> guys, it's like I always try to get that that lead going off strong. So okay. if I enter a room, uh-huh. if I can start like you know say what's up to everybody in a confident way, then I'm good. Like, mm. Okay. But, but what is that exactly? Is it like, like the way you walk, <laughs> or the way you? Dab uh, up somebody? Yeah, no, it's like the whole thing. It's like basically like I can tell basic like the first couple seconds that like, you see a guy, uh-huh. like you can sense his energy. If he's mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. more like alpha or like more just like kind of in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just sense it off how he dabs up people. Mm-hmm. You so, could. You, you know could, what I mean? You could. You, could. you definitely so, like, can. You just, yeah. I think it's just right off the bat. So like you're saying to carry yourself well in the beginning yeah, to have yeah, higher confidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's interesting though. High. Because I feel like there are some hella confident guys who are the quietest guys. Mm. Is that a job? Uh, I'm sure that is a thing, actually, too. It's like the mystery you know? boy. Yeah. It's like the guy yeah. who's very low-key, you yeah. know? At the start, they might not be the loudest one in the room. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, but they'd sure. be sitting in the corner being the coolest motherfucker <laughs> in the room. <laughs> like, and the thing is, like, don't feel like you have to, like, act a certain way because you want to be, like, that super mm-hmm. cool, mysterious yeah. guy in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, like who you are to your t you know like yeah. people don't like it if you act one way over here another way over here people are gonna think you're fake yeah. for real you yeah. know so like literally don't don't change yourself for other people yeah. it's gonna make yourself feel more like you're gonna put too much pressure on yourself in that way as well one last thing on this i feel like confidence this is a more shallow note but i feel like your confidence like spikes up when you know how to style yourself Mm. yeah dress yeah. for your body you know yeah, yeah when you know your body type and i think like, that's what it more so versus yeah. like the actual like fashion style it's like the proportions Portion. on your body exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> that's so yeah, yeah. real yeah. no that's, that's so what's in bro Did that's you, just like helps with your confidence right? yeah uh-huh. yeah you know how mm-hmm. like those like the hoodies you don't like them short for example yeah, yeah. Do you know why those are trending why it's because your pants and your legs look so long because the hoodie's short mm. oh yeah and yeah. that's like the proportion that they say is like yeah, you know, like, yeah, oh, yeah. It because it makes you look taller or some Tight shit, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah it makes your legs a little longer yeah, yeah. something like that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all right all right guys i got a question for everybody this is a lot more goofy all right it's for everyone but um would you guys let like your best friend tie your partner's shoe <gasps> if it was undone no but imagine this though imagine this right i'm trying to imagine yeah yeah, yeah. like you're walking slightly ahead of your man's like say you're with your other homie right and then you know right in front of your best friend he's like oh shit my shoes on time why is my bestie tying his shoe uh, it was just hypothetical Hypo- <laughs> like it's more so for a guy to do it on a girl yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah honestly yeah. but dude yeah no wow i'm really trying to just like imagine that situation in my brain yeah honestly if i any anything I see of uh, somebody tying somebody else's shoe, mm-hmm. that is like, you are low. Body. Like yeah, you're getting yeah, yeah. honestly, like, yeah. No girl's gonna like that. Yeah, no uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like and I, I'd say, like, wait, no. What were you gonna say? No, no, no. It, this is so dramatic, but it's kind of like, like you're nothing. Like tie my fucking shoe, servant. Whoa, whoa, That's what? How I feel. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? It's like a favor. Wait, I should have let you no, go. I, I should. <laughs> I should not let you go no, on right there. Maybe I'm looking at it a different perspective. No, man. No. No, no. <laughs> we were all just like, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's more in like the romantic way. Yeah, or okay, but the question is, would you let your friend Yeah, I didn't look at it at the romantic. So it's like you letting me like yeah. tie your, your yeah. Tie my girl's yeah. shoe. Yeah, so like <laughs> like that's a fuck no. Fuck no, fuck, fuck no. no. I say I'm a pretty chill guy. Right, like, right, I'll right. let a lot of things slide, but right. that's like crazy. Especially if I'm there. Okay, okay. If I'm yeah. there, and you're doing that? <laughs> no, no, I like these opinions. I like these opinions. Because the guy is kneeling on one knee. Why you right. l- or the you shoe know? is on, on his knee. Right, right, right. You know, she like exactly. raised right, right. It's an intimate 
activity. That is true. No, so I was thinking about it, right? And I was like, okay, I genuinely thought no. I was like, fuck no, bro. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, when yeah. I saw this question. Yeah. But then I was thinking about it. I was like, if it's one of my close homies, like, honestly, bro, I'm not going to be that mad. I'm tying Emily's shoe. I'm not going to be that mad. I'm tying Emily's shoe. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yo, this is Polo Capilot no, no, right no, here, no. bro. What the you fuck? Okay, realistically, you're gonna be pissed. I'd no, be pissed. You're not, I bro. think everybody would just kind of turn and be like, "What?" I think that would be more of like a, "What are you doing?" Like, yeah. why did that even cross your mind, kind of thing. Yeah. You know? She was just close. That's my homie's girl, so I'm but gonna tie her shoe. She don't know how to tie your own shoe. <laughs> it's also like, like on the girl for like. Letting. Letting. Letting, letting another letting. guy yeah, tie your like, shoe. Like, yeah, like, oh, like, yeah, like it's yeah. both parties' fault. Like, really, that's like, really. That's like, yeah. So I'm being a little too nice on this one. Yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. I think right. the, and the only exception to my best friend ever doing something to my boy, to my man, yeah, is maybe feeding. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck no. No. Oh, <laughs> oh hell no! Fe- oh, cooking hell for him. No. Cooking for no, him no, and no, feeding no, no, him. No, no, no. Like, 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 or, this? like this? Like, oh my oh, goodness. Like, okay, like 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 a food. Oh no. Like no, like no. a fruit. Like a cure. cure. In Which, the mouth or in passing the mouth? it to him? <laughs> like you pass it to the mouth. Difference. Oh, fuck, oh, no. oh hell. That's way worse. Way worse. That's way so, worse than that. Way worse than that. That's way yeah. worse. You're letting that go and you can't let it. Wait, really? Like, oh, here in New York. Open it. Okay, but not like a whole airplane. But like, no, but. So you're saying it's okay. If one of your friends feeds Scott, that has actually happened. Your homie oh. Jada, for example, <laughs> putting a f- food in his mouth is okay, but she can't tie his shoe. Yeah, like because <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm imagine. Let's say like we're at a group table or something. Okay, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. it's like you want to try my food, like. Dude, that's like that's oh, flirting one on one. You're only saying it's okay because it happens. She's trying to justify. Yeah, trying to okay, justify. I was like, with cheese a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. dude, dude, no, no but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. okay, but actually, now that I think about it, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come around, yeah. Let me help you. Let me yeah. help you. Actually, I think it depends on how homie, like your best friend, how yeah. how deep the homie level is. Right. So you the know? deeper the homie. It's fine. The more okay it becomes. Yes. Mm. That's what I'm saying, basically. Yeah. If my best girlfriend <laughs> is homies with my boyfriend, we're chilling. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's one of these questions where we just say no. But when it yeah. really comes yes, down to it exactly. and it happens in real life, bro, yeah, you're not yeah. going to be fucking mad. Dude, if, if a girl fed my man, but your, your best, best friend, friend, not a girl. Okay, that's true. But still, okay. Would, let's say we're I being cute. Still, I feel like cute is like the perfect example. I think. I think mouth. to the mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, is it like a? <laughs> is, it, is, is it a is toss? Easy. Is it a toss? Like she's in the mouth. No, no yeah, in, see, the, in mouth. the no, nothing crazy, in the mouth, bro. bro. That's nothing crazy. What did y'all do for the? What was it like? It what did she cute. give? Oh. She like fed it in his mouth. Yeah, and he was like opening up. Yeah. I'm joking. And you were you was at the other side of the table, like just watching it. Yeah. No, the my 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 best friend fed me too. Oh, oh, like, oh that makes it better. It was like oh, a yeah, just it's like, like um, turns. Yeah, if it's a circle. Um, um, yeah. That oh, helps. That helps. Mm. That, helps. Oh. that kind of helps. That helps yeah. a lot, still actually. To the yeah, mouth. That helps is, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I, the only things that I would like really justify is like a ride. Oh, a ride? ride? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ride? ride? I don't yeah, care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take her back, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. actually, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Ride is fine. Yeah. Ride, I don't care. Show. I'm trying to think of yeah, another thing. See it. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what? The no. shoe or the, the cure? Both, both. The shoe <laughs> and the. I and think the cure. any yeah. hand to mouth motion, that's like my me flirting with somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm. dude. Even this, yeah. Even this happened at the club too. I was like, um, you know, I was pouring everyone shots. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a girl comes like, I think they're dating. I just handed the bottle to the guy. Oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to fucking do that. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's weird. I, I was dead ass sober, too. So yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, was yeah. like ready to receive it. I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't. Yeah, you can't yeah, do it. Like, like, but I feel weird. like a lot of guys, at least in LA, at least, right, right, I feel like right. a lot of guys pour alcohol down other girls' drinks. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. They do. Like, yes. He was saying he was looking out for the girl's man yeah, by not doing it. He could have. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was being a nice guy the guy off yeah yeah yeah. because yeah. obviously i would have done it and then she would have drank it and it would have been all good right, right, right. the guy would have probably felt some type of way so mm-hmm. i just handed it to the guy that's actually great yeah even though i was going down the line 
just like just like you know, girl, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> Skip. Yeah. And then you go back. <laughs> yeah, that's actually so true, for sure. Uh, do you have another question? I no, I, I got one. Oh, I got one. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Do girls actually get icked out when a guy says, "Where my hug at?" Oh, ah. Do you guys get? <laughs> 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 Ooh, ah. <laughs> No. Because that's like a meme nowadays. Like, the it where, is. where my hug at kind of guy. Do you guys, like, actually get icked out when they say that? No one really says that. <laughs> I feel like you would get icked out. It's that, that. it's that vibe, though. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm reimagining the vibe in my brain. Yeah. And I, imagining my reaction. I love that. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> love it? <laughs> yeah, I uh, love Genuinely, it. genuinely? Genuinely, Oh, yeah. okay. Because I was going to say that I feel like it depends on what what the guy kind of looks like. What yeah, type that's of guy true, saying that's it? Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> bro, that's if you're so like true. a chill guy and you're like, oh, like, I don't know how to say it. but it's like, I feel like it, nowadays yeah. there's no really right no, way no, to no, say if that. It, like, if it was my, my friend. <laughs> 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 where's, my, where's my hug at? But imagine like a guy who's actually like. Good oh, looking. Hey, Tala, oh. where's my hug at? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. No, yeah. It's, it's kind of always like that. Yeah. You're like thirsty for the hug. Right. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah. That's the where my hug at vibe. Okay, okay, so I was yeah, thinking yeah. about Scott, and I was like, okay, I love that. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> if it was like my guy friend, <laughs> I would like it. It's fine. Okay. Totally no, 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 fine. This is like obviously when you're going out to a club right. and you're meeting someone that you kind of know, haven't seen in a while. Yeah, it would like me out. For sure. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It is a nick. If it's a guy I'm not close to, what yeah. the fuck? Like, right. why do I mean, you want a hug from no. me? I've always found this weird though, but like, how does the girl react? Like, say, because it icks you out, right? Mm -hmm. So then, do you just like, like, turn and just not no, hug him, like, or is like uh, the, half hug. Oh, you have to still kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I do half. Like, yeah. See, that sucks that yeah. they still have to though. It's, <laughs> it's kind of just like. Yeah. What can? What else can we do? No, I know. I feel like there's nothing, but it's just like. <laughs> high five. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think like that's those moments. It's just like the awkward get over it. Yeah. Mm, you know? Yeah. 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 And then it's walk fun. away. Walk away. Yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> dude, that's why as a guy you got to play it safe bro yeah you, what do you do when there's a new girl bro what's what's the move for you dude it's hard because i'm i feel like i'm side hugging every girl oh really yeah i feel like i am like regardless of if you like just met them or oh if i just met them right right, right. okay it depends on location at the club okay. i'm side hugging every girl right? oh okay, every okay. girl okay but if it's like anywhere else where oh. i'm sober and it's a new girl i'm handshaking yeah. oh yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 for real? yeah yeah and if it's a if it's like a homies girl mm -hmm. always a handshake oh. <laughs> yeah okay no because i was gonna say that i feel like um like my shit is that like i just wait for the girl to because i don't want to be the guy who goes in and yeah. she's yeah. like not trying right, to hug right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. i was gonna say i feel like it's player to just wait like yeah no it is p to just yeah, yeah make the girl yeah we don't need a hug but if she comes yeah. and it's just like yeah, yeah. it's like uh, asian friends don't hug each other Mm. They do. They you know? Do. No, no, no. It's they not do. as much though. Like when I met all of like oh, Jason's yeah. like Asian friends, yeah. I'm such a hugger. Me too. Yeah. Like I'm an immediate hug. Yeah. And now it's like not really. I don't really hug each other. You know? Right. But like with all my other friends, immediate hug. When we first oh, you know what that is? It's because <laughs> we're close now. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not hugging you no more. You know what I mean? I'm still hugging my close friends. It's like Asians don't like being hugging each other. Right. I think it's more so that like sorority frat community, like you know the white boys, but they love the hug. Yeah. You know? like, they're all hugs. They're, they're the where the where my hug apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that is different. That the, is it, different. It's very different, right. but it's something I've noticed, and it's made me fall back on the hugs. Mm, you know, yeah. which is kind of like I, I do want to hug when I. It see might them. be just because like you know Asians are timid and shit. You yeah, know? they and do like, be timid. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Don't get caught up being the where my hug at kind of guy. Yeah, Wait, yeah, is yeah. There, is there a girl equivalent? Oh, so that was my next question. Oh, man. really? Yeah, that's my next question. What is the girl equivalent mm -hmm. of where my hug at? For girls, there's really nothing that can really ick a guy out. I feel like anything a girl says <laughs> a guy says. Well, okay. Just a if there is. Oh, do you have I, one? I, I have some. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, okay, so let me hear him. Let me hear him. <laughs> All right. So and keep in mind the where my hug at. It's kind of like you thirsty for that attention yeah, kind, yeah, of, yeah. kind of vibe, right? It is, it is. So, number one, it's um, stop and it hits your arm. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, when, but, a, girl, when a girl's like, stop. But you get icked out by that? No, oh, actually, I, actually, I love that, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, on the, it's not on the ick vibe. It's more on, like, the... the well, let me, know if, let me know if it's the, the pick girl. The pick-me. Yeah, the pick me, pick thirsty me for attention. We'll keep going through them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know if it's actually the girl equivalent. Okay. So okay, not yeah, yeah. not that or? I don't just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, pass on that one. Because y'all be liking that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low key. Or like the straight up like, you're not going to say hi to me? 
Uh, oh, that yeah. one is closer. That one is when closer. When a girl says, you know, I say, I've heard girls say yeah. that. Uh, you're not going to say hi to me? I think, uh, I think that just f- as a phrase mm-hmm. is an ick. Mm. Even girl that's or that guy. That's that sassy girl. That's that sassy girl energy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like low key when you like fought or like a breakup. Right, like, you're right. not gonna say hi to me. Yeah, I yeah. Really <laughs> love saying that. <laughs> I, I, I say more of like, hey. I kind of go like that. Oh, hey. What, that, yeah. Wait, what you mean? Yeah, I that is. I fall it. victim to that. I say do, it again. It's more of like it's like a petty. Definitely like a pay like, yeah. hey, you know, oh, like that's a where my hey. hug at. That's a, that's a where my hug at kind of vibe oh, right God, there. Yeah, both of those. I, those are good. Red-handed. <laughs> <laughs> you hit like guys with that and shit too. No, or? but it's more of just like, like awkward. It's rare. Oh. It's more of like it's 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 not even awkward. It's totally joking. Oh, but it's more of like a. It's more. Of, I get more mad because I don't like when people don't introduce themselves to me. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. So it's just like I don't you're not even gonna say hi and then oh, you're gonna start and it's more of like it's more of like you first see me and yeah, you're yeah. asking me for a favor uh-huh. before you even say right, hi. Right. Mm-hmm. right so that's right, when right. I would hit them with that. Okay, mm. mm-hmm. third one. It's when you're out and the girl's like, Oh, I'm cold. <sighs> we be genuinely cold yeah. out here. Yeah, but see that's kind of begging for attention though. Yeah, like, no, I see where you're you know going with it. Like a little bit like, oh, I'm cold. Like. I see where you're going with it, but it's not a nick. That's it's, that's yeah, why it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cool. think no, that's I cool. think that's completely fine. That's yeah. completely yeah. Fine. yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially like when it. she says that to a guy though, directed at a guy. <sighs> nah. It is annoying if you don't like the girl. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, when you, it's not like your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like a random girl. Oh, I'm cold. Oh, that is a little icky sometimes. That, 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 one, that one's not bad. That one's not <laughs> bad. That one's not bad. I ranked the second one first, this yeah. one second, and the first example you said last. Okay, and I got a last one. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> the girl's like, oh, no, you play too much. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think that's You play age, too though. much. Nah? I think that's like fun banter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, play you know? Too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. It is it's it like, is, quit playing, bro. Yeah. yeah. I guess... <laughs> I guess the equivalent is like just pick me girls. Pick me girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is a pick me? What are some pick me girl things that you guys notice? Guys don't notice. Oh, Oh, we know when a girl's a pick me girl. What is what is a yeah? What is a prime example? So obvious, but I don't know. When they take your hat, Mm. Uh, like off of your head. When they take your hat and they wear it, right? But guys Uh, like that though. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is guys like that, but. It's pick me for girls. It's only between girls. I feel like a lot. Really? Interesting. I feel like yeah, guys. I feel like don't sense it as much as much as girls sense it from <coughs> other girls. Mm. Really? Yeah. For example, let's say like there's like two girls and the rest are guys. Right. And the one girl is obviously a lot closer with the guys, but it's completely like saying inside jokes in front of the other girl. Be like, oh, like you just want to get it. It's like a boys thing, you know? Oh. <laughs> That's like. Yeah, like out. Oh, you know, that's I, yeah. yeah, that's like that's kind of more how I um, categorize pick me girls. Oh, because I was thinking like pick me girls. Like if I go to a party or a club, like dude, I know right when I walk in there, when I walk by the girl, like oh, this girl's fucking begging for attention. To mm. me. <laughs> like more so that like they're just so horny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like they're begging for it tonight. You know what I mean? I don't. I wouldn't <laughs> say pick me is horny. Would you say pick me really? is horny? Like they're just seeking that male validation, it seems like. Okay, I see it. I, s- I could kind of see it. I see like it. Like, I'm like, I dude, there's it. no need for your top to be so low where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> the pink is showing, you know, oh. from the other body part. I don't think that. What? <laughs> no, I don't think, like, the way you dress is pick me. Oh, it can never. Be. Oh, really? I think, I think pick it me is an be. attitude. No, I think it can be. I think, I think it, it can, can be for really? sure. I think yeah, it can yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. I, though, I see I more know. of it as an attitude. Uh, oh, I mean, I see mm-hmm. it in that way too, actually. I see it more of like it's kind of like the the insecure people that are fishing for compliments. Mm. You know. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Those are more of like. You just, uh, I'm trying to think of examples, of like what girls or guys say. Where it's like, oh, it's like, oh, I know I'm not pretty enough. You know. I'm not. I'm not the perfect boyfriend. You know what I mean? It's kind of like those. Oh, people those that like I, pick me I, statements. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that's pick me too, though. Yeah, that's exactly. pick. It's just you know? two different like forms. fishing yeah, for yeah. compliments. Fishing right. for compliments, exactly. So I'm like, <clears throat> shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, moving past this, yeah. um, I don't know if you guys know, but Physical 100 season two just ah, came out. Oh, yes, I saw yeah. it. Yeah, so I've been tapped in a little bit, and this inspired me to ask this question to the ladies. So let me ask you guys: What are your thoughts on a guy with cauliflower ear? 
Mm. What is that? So, cauliflower ear, basically, right? It's for it's common in wrestlers and fighters. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty, I don't know exactly what it is, but their ear, something's broken and it fills with fluid. And it's like all like Up-busted. twisted and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's yeah. pretty much like you break your nose and then you don't fix it back. So like shit just builds up and then it gets like all callous. I see. see. Gets like hard. It, it like wrestlers that get cauliflower ear is like there it looks like they have big bumps i i i know what you mean. i think i've seen some yeah, boxers yeah. have yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like this kind of this is like a bad uh, case i know what you're yeah 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 um like is that cool <laughs> 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 no i personally don't like it but i don't like it because i don't like i don't like guys who are in that extreme sport oh okay yeah That's a because good it makes me more afraid because they're getting hurt more yeah. You know, they're just getting concussion on concussion and concussion. Mm-hmm. So, like, football players kind of like that. Wrestlers, um, UFC, kind of like that. I just don't like it. It's too aggressive, yeah. too hard. It I hurts see. my feelings. What about you? Yeah, cauliflower ear. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, like, niche for you. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. imagining, like, the right. cauliflower. I think, nah, that's not cool. <laughs> A lot of the guys in the show have that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really? They've done wrestling and stuff like that. It's like oh. almost a guarantee. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I like my man clean. But can I play devil's advocate here? Because I asked my yeah, girl the yeah. same question. She said no. But uh-huh. I hit her with this. Okay, but knowing he has cauliflower ear, if you ever go out and get into something, you're good. <laughs> you literally, you have a legitimate like right, he must be right. trained of some sort. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're safe. And I know girls like that safety. You know <laughs> that male like feeling s- secure. Yeah, but. No, nah, but how am I gonna pick your ear on like? Yeah. <laughs> you could drain his ear. <laughs> Real, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to fucking have a flashlight and everything. <laughs> you could drain it. What does that Just mean? With like a syringe or like a needle, and you pull. No, it out. I'm not gonna pull out a needle. <laughs> Nah, okay. I don't know. Ears I think only. I think that's just my thing is correlation with injury I see, prone. That's a great reason. Injury prone, brain damage, vibe. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it w- it's just. I don't like it. Although, if he was like the perfect looking person, but just had the call for it, sure, I'll give him a pass. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> 10 out of 10 yeah, would call it for you. No, I feel like it's one of those things where, like, she won't go out seeking a new guy with that. Oh. But if Scott got it, oh, then it's all It's exactly. whatever. It's, it's whatever. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, I got yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, question <laughs> on a related note. Uh-huh. Let's say you're, like, you met the literally the perfect ideal type Mm -hmm. looks wise okay it's like god literally was wrote you Mm -hmm. Uh but you later realize that it's all jobs done oh wow but fake but this is the ideal look right 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 and it doesn't look fake it doesn't look fake it looks like natural Mm -hmm. but you know the jeans Mm -hmm. don't carry those jeans oh like she was ugly for sure maybe not ugly but But not like that but not like that Mm -hmm. would you still like on a kylie jenner vibe no No, i think she definitely grew into her face it, it could be like <laughs> yes, basically, but I know what you're saying. Nah, because she wasn't that the most attractive oh, when she, she was younger. She ain't got that big bunta on her. Either. Okay. No, I'm not even talking about the bunta. I'm talking about her <laughs> face. I'm talking about her face. Because it looks pretty natural. Yeah, but yeah. But if you look at her, you know, teenage photos, oh, yeah. it different. looks nothing like her. Nothing. But like let's say like your girl looked like Madison Beer. You would not be able to tell. Right, right, right. So uh, would you like care? Yeah. No. Nah. Kinda like would you care about the cauliflower? Like would yeah. you care about the girl? Nah, I, I mean, I honestly like. I think if she's pretty now as is, and it looks totally normal that I didn't even notice. Yeah, it's cool. Then you're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, I was gonna say the same thing. I feel like if I don't notice, it must be really well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, like, once you do start dating her or you marry her, bro, yeah, you might have a little bit like in the back of your brain, like, fuck, our kids. I wonder what it's gonna look like. It's a mystery box. <laughs> that is a mystery box. <laughs> we gotta call him doctor. Because that story <laughs> happened. Remember? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we talked about it before. We did. Oh my god, we literally talked about it. But the story, is same thing, and yeah. the kid came out and then it looked nothing like the mom and the dad divorced and sued the white woman yeah. it was sued? a fake story in the end oh. yeah, yeah. i have another question mm-hmm. let's say like again 10 out of 10 beautiful amazing gorgeous girl right. but she was a ufc fighter <laughs> she was ufc she is a ufc fighter oh, like that's her she's career a fighter that's yeah she's ripped. a fighter she's well she like even she looks nice she doesn't look like she would be a ufc fighter but then you find out she she's in that ring every saturday holy cow would you be able to date somebody ah uh, no i'm i'm really into more of the feminine really like mm-hmm. traditionally feminine girls mm-hmm. and a ufc fighter ain't 
feminine at all, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know if I could do the UFC fighter either. UFC yeah. fighter. It's just one of those where, like, dude, she's going to be somewhat buff. Like she's not gonna be uh, hella. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sleeper yeah. build. Sleeper build. Dude, she's gonna be buffer than me. Yeah. Shit, bro. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. She body slams you. Yeah, I can't, bar, bro. She's gonna dominate me, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine a girl like working out more than you. Yeah. <laughs> Waking up earlier than you. She's coming home with black. <laughs> like, clean every day. Like, come maybe on. guess my bench today, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And look outside and she's like grinding pull-ups in the back like dude like what <laughs> she's like one finger away like, yeah. honey <laughs> do i gotta go out there too you know what i mean yeah. oh that's crazy okay though. i have another question okay <laughs> i want to know what your guys's favorite catchphrases are little slurs <sighs> oh like slangs like slangs damn bro there's probably a lot of things we repeatedly say on every podcast type shit <laughs> yeah type shit sometimes we do no what do we what are like your hello? guys's favorite you in know that one saying? interview bro See, like, when you ask me, it, I forget about everything. You know what I mean? Like, me and oh. Jason say and shit to everything. Oh, yeah. And, we add and, it on and everything. Shit. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying more of, like, slurs. Oh, oh, oh so, mm-hmm. I think the first time I came on to Nine for Nine as a guest, mm-hmm. you guys said a lot of on God. On God. Like, <laughs> on God? <laughs> yeah. I was never an on God yeah, kind of guy. Oh, maybe you know? it was you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did yeah. used to say that. Yeah. I think when we said that? I don't think, I don't know. Not too much, not too much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But for you, my favorite to hear actually mm-hmm. is dead ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> it just sounds pleasant to the ear. <laughs> to me, I don't know. Something about it screams New York to it to me. Oh, for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel really? like a lot of New Yorkers say dead ass. Dead ass. And it's like home. Mm-hmm. It's like <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> why. Oh, you're a New Yorker yeah. at heart. Huh? You know that's what nice. my, is my favorite? It's not really said a lot. It's a bad word. What? C U N T. Oh, can I say it? Cunt. Yeah, <laughs> I love the word cunt. <laughs> Honestly, dude, like, girls, a lot of a lot of girls, a lot of girls and gays use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. why is it? Yeah, I see dude, it's all, so cunty behavior. Or some I shit. love that shit. <laughs> if cunty. if somebody like told me like your outfit is so cunt, I would think that. What? Like, yeah, top oh, yeah. tier. I agree. C- compliment what does that I've mean never heard it, i've never heard it's it just like it's, sexy it's, it's like, like cute you're like that bitch yeah you're that you know? bitch <laughs> like yeah. there's so many there's so many deeper meanings to that word i agree it can be used in such a do- like mean like you're right. a fuck, you know right, but it can right, also right. mean like slay you're you're, 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 yeah. you're yeah. living you yeah. Know? yeah like i remember i would talk to my friends i'd be like hey we're going to this you know event like what's the what's the vibe uh-huh. what's the dress code what mm-hmm. am i wearing Cunt. Cunt. Got oh, it. Wait, let me ask period. you a question. Got it. If the dress <laughs> code, if the dress code is cunt, uh-huh. what are you guys pulling up in? Oh, I'm pulling my hottest. Maybe like something leathery, sexy, something leathery. black, open some back, open, open back, back some back. Back. a little more Heels. skin. Oh, uh-huh. I see the vibe now. Yeah, 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 yeah That's yeah. giving Fine. cunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're you're just serving at the top, okay. top, top tiers, oh, top I've serve. Never heard that yeah. shit before. Dude, yeah, I love yeah, that. I love you that. Might need to go to a c- cunt party. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I have another one that I want to teach you guys. Whoa, what? A lot of term. Uh, it's a big term that me and my girlfriends use. What? It's called B E C. Have you guys ever heard of that? No. no. B E C. Like they are my B E C, which means bitch eating crackers. <laughs> Let me explain. You know how everyone has that just one person in their life where it's like they just do anything and it just gets on your nerve. Oh, okay. This bitch could be eating crackers oh. and it's just like getting on your nerve. Mm. You know what I mean? And let's say you're like explaining this person to somebody and they're like, that person is my BEC, you guys. That do you know sense. what I mean? And I love you. I that. get it. I get you know? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try to implement it. I think it you guys it. should try to implement it. <laughs> For sure. Just randomly throw it into your friends and be like, what is that? And then you could give this exact explanation. Bro, I love girl it. right here. Bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a girl thing, though. It is. You're not going to catch a guy, like, that paraphrasing shit. shit like, you know? <laughs> What's the phrase that guys say a lot? Like, in a mean way like that? No, just, like, what's a, like what's something that only guys usually use? Uh, like, like, yo, this guy's fucked, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, girls not going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, like, a bad term. Right? Yeah, like, that shit was fucked, bro. Yeah, that guy's fucked, yeah. bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or like, uh, uh, like the other things that a lot of guys say is just like you can't say it on camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like guys say bad words all the time, yeah. stupid. Yeah. Things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? That's actually a turn off for me. Too many bad words. When a guy like, uh, how do you say this? When a guy says the, like the n word, 
Oh, oh, of course, bro. Yeah, of I course. know, but some people are still politically dumb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about like a, like an Asian person saying that? Yeah, yeah someone yeah, who is yeah. not justified saying that, it's like immediately I'm like, all right, this is the last time I'm going to see you. Right, mm. right, right. Mm-hmm. You still see those? Today? I still to this <laughs> no day way. see oh, yeah, people throwing sure. that word around. Really? Like, Everyone still be throwing that word around, I feel You know? Like. Yeah. But when, especially when like, yeah, when a guy says it, uh-huh who is not justified i'm right. like sorry you you're just out of my brain yeah. right it just right. shows that you're not you haven't left so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. what it shows like you yeah. haven't left your community literally, yeah. literally. Yeah. you know you haven't seen the world literally. because if you've traveled to any other state oh yeah then you would not say it you yeah. would not, you know? mm-hmm. you would or not. even like even if it's in a song Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yes. That's a lot of people think that's a pass. They but do, they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a little. Uh, it gets me uncomfortable. Sometimes. Dude, I, feel yes, that. Bro. I don't know if you guys remember that uh, Lil Dicky song with Chris from Freaky Friday. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when that song came out? It says Edward so much. And I, remember, <laughs> I see like videos of white girls in the summer. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm ripping it, bro. I'm no. like, yo. Well, that's different though. I feel like when you're at a concert, like everyone's everyone's ripping. Is it yeah. different when you're Are singing along to concerts? When you're singing along to like Future, bro, you're telling me like you know what I'm saying. I, I feel like I've that's like everyone knows. But yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah, yeah. cares. That that is kind of that is true. You know what I'm saying? If we're not being PC right now, I thought we're keeping everything, you know, politically <laughs> no, right on the <laughs> channel. But um, if we're being real, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, that's just like a like if you go to Rolling Loud. Yeah. You got the baby, little baby, Future, gonna, right. and then. Yeah. Everyone's singing along. But bro. I wouldn't like, say it though. I wouldn't say it. Honestly, I in yeah. front of everyone. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I would not. Yeah, I feel like th- that's that'll still turn me off. It's more like mm-hmm. a pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Right, right, right. But yeah. everyone still says it. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's not even like a it's not even like you just it's like fuck oh you just let it slip. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the problem. Yeah. Though. <laughs> it's too mi- minor. Yeah. I, okay. Well, straying away from this yeah, one. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. 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 No, it's okay. I like it when you know, like that one specific person only says that one word. Do you know what I mean? Mm, like, like it's their word. It, it's like kind of like their word. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I know what you but mean. But I have, yeah, I I have a friend that's always like, buddy. He's the only person that I know that uses buddy. Oh, <laughs> you know? oh I love it when that happens. No, I love that shit too. Because I'll start copying it. Yeah. yeah. No, honestly, the greatest feeling ever is like when you say something and like it catches on and people start saying it. Yeah. Dude, I true. have one. This is kind of weird, but I have a friend. Her name is Misha. I love this girl to death. Mm-hmm. And she says this one phrase. It's holy titties. Holy titties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I love it. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah no, but like, something like that though, you would always remember the friend with exactly. that Exactly. And mm. I love it. I love, I love it. friend group saying jokes, you know, like me and my friends we always go like yep yep yep. That's <laughs> how you say like yes, you know? Yep, yep, yep. And I swear to god you guys, I had a phase where every single person would talk like a baby. What? It was <laughs> terrible. It was literally like baby terrible. voice. Like guys? Guys, girls like Ev- guys started it and then the girls started everyone just would say it would be like me no wants me no want to do this like i swear to god we talked like that for so long and every single person <laughs> would start talking like that really? and it just yeah at one point it was fun and then it just got so crazy annoying Holy. is but, this like within only cause fullerton right yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh wait this is like within our friend group like every single person would talk like this oh my god i have one from Paul. whoa whoa I have never heard anybody say this these days except for Paul. What? What? <laughs> what? I don't even know what to say. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Do I say that? Holy cow. I you, that? Not, yeah, you, said, you said that in this podcast yeah. episode. Oh, actually. I did? You, you yeah. said like, holy cow, bro. Like, <laughs> holy cow, bro. Dude, yeah, literally, like literally. Oh my God. Yeah, literally. I haven't heard anybody say that since middle school. <laughs> except for Paul. Yeah. Yo, I do have some of those weird things. I don't know why. And it comes in cycles, bro. You'll say it for six <laughs> yeah. months and it leaves oh, yeah, the dictionary. And, and then it comes You'll get back. a new one. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's so true. I think for real was for real. a phase. Real. Oh, yeah. For real. Definitely. What do I say too much? Oh, I know. What? You know. Oh, <laughs> you do yeah. say that. Dude, well. yeah. It's like, not even you know. No, I'm saying. <laughs> 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 Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Audience, y'all know. You guys hear it, right? I no, don't I'm even saying? know what you just said, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Dude, literally, like, 
my my best friend gets uh-huh. so mad at me because uh-huh. I'll be having a conversation uh-huh. and I'll always say like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there He's you like, go. No, I don't know what you're <laughs> saying. And I always say, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is, dude, that's, that's a, I love that phrase. I you do. You gotta say that phrase. You do. You, you gotta kind of say it with like that attitude. What, how do you say you know? it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know? I literally you love say saying that. that. A lot yeah, too, you know yeah he does say a lot. It's like on some chill shit though. Yeah, you know what <laughs> what <laughs> type shit, chill shit. Yeah. I forget what I say, I've bro. never heard type shit until you guys. I just copied uh, Duke Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've literally never heard anyone say it except for you guys. Oh really? No, yeah. Popular, and yeah. and O D. Oh, OD, oh, like we used OD. to say a lot. Oh, you guys OD. used to say that a lot. Bro, I miss it because our viewers would be like, oh, I'm, I'm starting saying OD now. Because we used to <laughs> always say it. Say yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Slangs are cool, though, man. They like, are. Because it shows, like, what area you're from. It yeah. Does. yeah. It does. I mean, it does. A yeah. lot of character. For mm-hmm. real. Like, what? I'll go to, like, New York and they'll know, like, oh, you're from Cali. You're a Cali boy. Dude, right. Yeah. That, when I went to... Um, <laughs> When I went to Colorado, they were like, dude, you're so Californian. Really? Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? I think it's Californian. They, they say hella. Oh, hella. Hella, hella. Literally. 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 They always. Hella is universal, though, I feel like. Hella. Not in New York. Yeah, what's in oh, New York? Really? Like, dead ass. Oh, dead, dead ass. ass. Dead dude, ass. You know, that, that brings me a uh, very uh, big question, though. And maybe you can elaborate more. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But do you think Asians in SoCal have a superiority complex? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you think so? Because obviously, okay, so us three, we, we lived in SoCal our whole life. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you've been to New York for a couple years, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For three years. Not that much, but still. So yeah. a good amount of time. So yeah. you've seen the Asians yeah, in New no York. I have no other Asians to compare myself with. Right, right, right. So the Asians in the East Coast, Asians in the West Coast, do you think we like feel like we're better than them? Mm. Mm. That's such a... Such a layered question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This has been trending. <clears throat> this topic. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like it. I, it has been trending. So I can't. I can't lie, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say, like, I, let's say, I do go to New York. Okay. I've been in New York, like, yeah, yeah. multiple times. I do feel like a little bit more cultured, uh-huh. and in a way more, and because I feel more cultured. <laughs> I feel a cool. little bit cooler. <laughs> Dude, I totally understand than that. Than the New York A Asians. little bit cooler, bro. Really? Really? So how do you view the New York Asians? No, no, no. I don't, I don't <laughs> view them. I don't view... <laughs> You're setting them up for... <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta word this so carefully. Dude, I know... I kind of know exactly how you're feeling. No, I know hey, keep in mind, I've been to New York. All right, I went to school in New York for a year. I think this okay? is... This is not me just in my own bubble. Like, I've yeah, been yeah, to yeah, New yeah, York. Yeah. All right. But you're just saying you feel this way like yeah but it's not true though Dude, i don't know no it is true I feel like <laughs> oh, you think it's true I feel like it's every, like genuinely no i think a lot of socal asians especially from oc and la feel like they're like that asian i yes. do feel like i do feel like socal asians feel like they're that superior asian. than other yeah. asians yeah. in other areas that's crazy it's so true mm-hmm. it's so that's true that's so yeah. crazy because i would actually think new yorkers are more cultured yeah, no, no, yeah. I think culture. I, is, is, well, I think what they're trying to say is because I agree with them. I think so not cal- culture, but more humble. Yeah, and better. No, like, no, respected. we might feel more cultured and all that shit cooler. But I think that comes down to that superiority complex that we all uh, possess within us. So. We got. I feel like SoCal Asians have the highest egos. Yeah, there is a part of me like if I meet Asians from these other random ass states, right? Yeah. I'm like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You're not from Cali, bro. You uh, just don't know. You know no, what I mean? But yeah. that's like our problem. I that is our problem. That no, problem. It is a problem. We definitely have problem. that problem. Right, that's right. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is a problem. It's crazy. I <clears throat> Okay, because the word superior has a, like a negative. Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. connotation, yeah. right? Yeah. So if I would have to, um, obviously this is my humble opinion. Right. But I feel like SoCal people, if they think they're superior, uh-huh. I think the equivalent of that to New York is New York Asians are elitist. Mm. Really? Mm. Can you explain elitist? Like, um, I feel like I feel like just New Yorkers, like the money that they make, yeah. the amount of social activity that happens in the nightlife. There's right. bar, mm-hmm. bar, 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 restaurant, restaurant. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's so many things to do in in New York. Right. Museum, park, like all these exhibitions, shows, and all that. Mm-hmm. I, but I feel like SoCal is pretty like so widespread that like yeah. it's more like nature, beach. Mm-hmm. So I feel like in New York is they're a little bit more like elitist. 
But what do you mean by, are you saying elitist in the sense that like they are very clicky and they're only trying to like hang out with yeah, other people who what, are like, I think uh, what's the so definition of elitist? It's more like, like financial brackets maybe. Oh, or really? Like, yes. They yeah. tend to like uh, hang out with. I think yeah. so. I think oh. so. Another thing that I noticed. Oh, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna like shitting on the like, California people. No, 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 no I say off. this with so much love. No, no we no, need yeah, a yeah, New yeah. York representative <laughs> yeah, 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 on yeah, the board yeah. right now. Yeah, but I feel like in my mind when I think of like a Californian guy, uh-huh. the image is so clear, and I see it like it's like a production. It's like everyone mm-hmm. just looks the same. Stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> copy, copy. Has the same hairstyle. Yeah, right. Has right. the same style. Yeah, right. Same build. Mm-hmm. But in New York. It's like so diverse. Right. Yeah. That you, know. you know what? That might kind of tie into like us feeling cool and shit. Like maybe mm. all of us feel cool because we're all hip with the trends and everything. And maybe uh, that's why so many of us look similar. Exactly. Whereas in New York, maybe we think they're all looking different because they're not yeah. trendy. They have more of an individual. That's actually a beautiful. It could be that. Dude, that's literally what it is. That because is, in New yeah. York, it's so big on the way you dress being unique too. being like, unique yeah. yeah and each i hate this word bracket has a different unique trend mm. yeah exactly but here if it's but la trend. it's right, like one right, big right, one right. and it's whether you can find in it or you don't right oh, exactly you might have just started a study <laughs> <laughs> okay no we literally just did yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. like it you fit know in my puzzle in right my brain. right yeah because you can so tell someone's from california just by the way they look really yeah yeah they're holding a stand okay. what do you think you look like from uh, Cali, from New York. You know what? That what? is crazy because, uh-huh. like, when I was in New York, everyone's like, "Oh, you look such like a Californian person." Okay. Okay. When I'm here, okay, I feel like, people are like, when I tell them like, "Oh, I came from New York," uh-huh. right before this, I like makes sense. Oh. So I don't know. I don't know actually. What do I look like to you guys? I say I feel like <laughs> California. Really? I'll not not mm. in like that you don't have your own uniqueness or anything, but I think your personality fits here a lot more. Yeah, I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. I yeah. feel like your I like personality I feel like over there it's definitely more hard edged. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I could see you thriving there, like putting on all those New York <laughs> fits. I could imagine you doing that. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like yeah. yeah. Your just, personality fits more yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I like it here. I like You're it supposed here. to be famous. You gotta be here. Come on. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> It's so crazy that we live so close to LA. It is. I don't crazy. think we get realize how also privileged we are to be from the nine four nine. It's mm-hmm. just so crazy oh, to think sure, about. Bro. I literally used to think about this all the time when I was younger. Like we literally grew up in one of the safest cities in the entire world. Yeah, you know, which is crazy to think about. And it's also crazy because when I went to like anywhere else in the states or anything, I'm always like, oh, they're like, where are you from? I'm like, so Cal. They're like, oh, are you close to LA? I'm like. 30 minutes away from mm-hmm. LA. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Which is so It is crazy really crazy. Yeah. yeah. People pay hella money, bro, to come to, to be here. Yeah, see yeah. Hollywood, like the Walk of Fame. Yeah. Dude, I go Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm like, bro, this the place fuck is so this? shit, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, let me go home. You know? It's yeah. like, wow. It's crazy. Yeah. This sure. is like a seven wonder for some kind of people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For me, I want to see like Taj Mahal. I think that's crazy. But, you know, people want to <laughs> see the, la- the skyscrapers. <laughs> yes. All right. This next question I have for y'all is um. So it's regarding an OG Asian YouTube creator. Do you guys mm-hmm. know the guy by the name of Kev Jumba? Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. Bro. You know Kev, right? For sure, bro. So Kev was. Can I get a picture? Sh- yes, I'll pull up a picture. He was huge back during the Niga Higa days. I was his boy, like yeah. his right hand man, right? They're both huge, like ten mil plus, right? This is what he looks like. Show but ba- me, show me. Yeah, sh- we'll show her too. Oh, you don't know Kev Jumbo? I know Kev oh, okay, Jumbo, okay. but. I but basically, what's going on right now, right? So he was famous for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what, so he was famous for hella long, right? And then mm-hmm. basically he stopped doing content <coughs> for a little bit. And then in the last two or three years, he was streaming. He was playing video games. He was chill. He was just like a normal guy. Mm-hmm. Recently, there's video surfacing him, of him out in LA everywhere as a monk. He's, he's shaved head now, wow. has a little ponytail on his back. Wow. Yeah. And he's like kind of a, it's not begging for money, but they're like trying to get money in exchange for these books that they're giving these people I saw. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like a religion that mm-hmm. he's following, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just I just curious like what do you guys think of that bro like mm. seeing Dude, that bro no, I saw that video it was outside rolling loud yeah bro yeah 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 we'll put up that video right now yeah there's another one bro crazy oh same Santa same Monica bro same type of video same, though same bro he's just kind of dancing right dude this one he's like talking he takes a picture yeah and he's like he does like an interesting smile I don't know I feel like something's different like oh oh he has oh he looks weird like he's like 
like mm. like some weird like yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of them before or seen them before. But this might be like a really bad take. But this is kind of my take on like when people have like super crazy dramatic shifts in their personality. Yeah. I honestly look at it. They either went through ayahuasca or they had a crazy acid trip and they're like a completely different person. Mm. That's for could real how sense. I take it. Could, could be. have happened. Yeah. Could be. But I've been seeing so basically what they're saying is he got in an accident a while back. Mm-hmm. But they're saying it could be damage to the brain. But basically <laughs> what it is is this religion that he joined. Yeah. I don't want to say anything because maybe there's some people who genuinely believe in this religion. But most comments on TikTok are saying it's a cult. Mm. So I'm just like if this guy's in a cult, right? Like, what can you do to, like, help this guy out, bro? Mm. Like, I genuinely what feel bad. What is the religion? It's Hinduism. It's a form of, it's a cult that's part of Hinduism, mm. apparently. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know, from what I've heard from being, like, a Christian, you know, like, those cults teach you things that might not be directly correlated to whatever, you is know? Is it confirmed that it's a cult? I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I'm not going to confirm that mm. here, yeah, but, yeah. like, every comment is saying it's a cult. Mm. Honestly, I just... I don't think it's like something you can help them with. Oh, you really? Know? Because <clears throat> at this point, if he is doing this outside in front of hundreds and hundreds of people, he truly, truly believes Ble- in of it. Course, of you course. Know? So I don't think, I think if anyone truly, truly believes in something, you can't tell them they're wrong. Do you know what I mean? You can't be like, I'm trying to yeah. fix you and go back to the regular way. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you just got to honestly let them live their life out. Fuck. Because that's yeah. how they you truly think he's gonna feel. be like that. Just no, I think cult or not yeah. doesn't matter. Right. I think uh, I think it's more shocking that you know he was once uh, one of the Asian faces yeah. on YouTube. You know, making funny videos. Yep. You know, being the basically the face of Asians for a while. Yeah. Like he's an OG, right? And then you see him do some like, you know, he's on some like, like I don't want to. <sighs> I'm it's not gonna. Just, yeah. It's not the cult or anything. Right, it's right, right. really not that. But when you see like a transformation, it's almost like Doja Cat. I was just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like everyone loves Doja Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, all but then of when sudden, she started, you know, dressing like a, you know, like a, like I don't a devil, know, like uh-huh. a devil or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone's like weirded out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you think it's more so one of those? It's just like people are finding it odd, but in reality, he's having a good time. He's happy, so it's okay. I mean, what can you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he's going to live his own life. Yeah. yeah. I think with that, you just let him be. Yeah, I think like as long as it's not harming people, people, exactly. right. it's kind of like, <clears throat> who are we to say that our religion is the right religion? Exactly. exactly yeah. You know, compared to what they're believing in. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think it is sad to see somebody so drastically change right, yeah, especially yeah. if it's of a brain damage or something because yeah. if, if it is the case because yeah. that honestly like they did like a psychopath analysis on how like psychopaths brains look like and it's like shriveled and it's like yeah, it's yeah. completely different than mm-hmm. than like neurotypical people so yeah if it's brain damage it's like heart hurts i guess i kind of framed i could frame the question yeah. better do you think that the fame kind of got to, to him this. Mm. like do you think if you're famous it just comes to a point where it's I like i mean didn't you say that he like was super famous and then he just kind of fell off for a little bit and then yeah. he joined streaming and then all of a sudden he's a monk basically <laughs> basically but this is over the span of like 15 years yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying i feel like it would be more sad or not sad it's not sad at all i think let him be honestly i don't give a <laughs> shit what he does like he's on the street like dancing and shit he's probably like living his best life i do think the fame is a very interesting thing to yeah, the human yeah. ego yeah no. i you think know? if it was more of like a super instant like one year later he's like all of a sudden doing this shit i think that would be more of a shocking factor but i think this is just because we've seen like a, a specific side of him on the internet as we do the same thing here, you know, but we're not exactly 110% who we are here than out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this was a little thing part of him that he was mm. just afraid to show out and now yeah. he just doesn't give a shit and wants to show uh, it. Uh, the, flame, the, the fame probably played a big role. Big role, you think? Because I think it probably like had a big awakening. In it, yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, yeah. I, I feel like this topic is sensitive, so I should have included more details. I feel like it's, it might I be a little out of context. I think I need to see more details too. Yeah, I don't but know. you know what's weird? I don't know. I, I don't think you saw this. You know Brian Jones? Oh yeah, he was boys with him apparently for the last two years, like before this. Oh, he really? made a whole TikTok about it, uh-huh. and apparently, yeah, yeah. So he's like hella into religion. So he was looking for something mm. to like guide him throughout the rest of his life. Oh. 
so he like it was intentional to find a religion mm-hmm. and follow that mm-hmm. life i feel like yeah i think so that's maybe it's exactly. not the brain damage but I'll exactly take that one back. Yeah, I'll exactly take that one back. <coughs> as i just said before he was always looking for this he just never found yeah. it yeah you know yeah that's no that's true yeah i think i think uh, people have different um avenues they go to like save mm-hmm. themselves or sure. find deeper meaning but yeah. as long moral story ethic, as long as they're not harming anybody right, yeah. right you know right. i think this kind of reminds me of like you know like guys who go to jail for a really long time mm-hmm. they they build a new religious outlook on life yeah. you know it's like a big thing I, I think it was like he just learned something from someone else and he just became really obsessed with it you mm-hmm. know yeah and that's fine mm. yeah i think i just wanted to talk about it because yeah, it made yeah. waves throughout the asian mm-hmm. community because he's such an og that it's like I think yeah. I definitely need to do more research on it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's like seeing Jason in five, like everyone who's a fan of <laughs> Nine for Nine, seeing Jason outside. Yeah. You know, like yeah, uh, the shock value. People that don't understand it, because honestly, if you look at it from outside view, yeah. it looks like he's like almost like begging for money. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. So it's such a big drastic change. Right, right, right. I think, yeah, I think it's just because I don't know en- well enough about it. I can't say too much. Well, uh, honestly, I, I'm feeling like we should do a truth or drink, but honestly, now that I'm thinking to? about it. I think so. Yeah, hey, we, we, we got a limited we amount left. Done one in so yeah, long. yeah, we got to enjoy them with someone. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back with your favorite segment ever. Yes, sir. Truth or drink. <laughs> I forgot there's no more tables, so we oh, couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't done this in a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. We haven't done this in a minute. Jesus. Right. Well, we got I the could go first. Ready. Yep. Okay, you want to go first? Yes. My question is for my brother, Polly. Yes, sir. Okay. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely. Okay. Are you more sad or happy that you got laid off work? Oh. <sighs> This is a good question. Is a good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I was thinking about it the last couple yeah, days, yeah. and sixty percent sad, forty percent. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the dough. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the dough. That's it's the problem. It's the dough. I yeah. see. I see. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like a when you get laid off a part time job. Yeah. It's like, Damn. I yeah. got laid off a part time. You know, it's like one of those. Have you yeah. ever been laid off? N- no i usually just quit but like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no but it's more than that it's more like oh, like this is like a young yeah so it's oh. like kind of like did i not do as well, good as i should have for you because you're my young you know right. or it's just like it's oh. also just weird combo like with him it's, yeah. it must have been yeah it must have been. Yeah. but honestly there's a f- there's a phrase if you haven't gotten laid off you haven't lived oh really yeah yes it's it builds character like everybody goes there once you're chilling okay hopefully chillin'. hopefully um well, yeah, that's for me. We'll keep going this way. Let me ask Jason now. Jason, Jason, Jason. I know you, you're a pretty busy guy, right? <laughs> what are you, are, you, are you getting at? You pretty busy? What are you getting at right, right here, Basically, man? this is the question, bro. Um, honestly, bro. Honestly, honestly. Yeah. Have you ever watched any of my YouTube videos? And if you have, <laughs> which one is your favorite one? <laughs> Great question. Let's go. Let's go. Drink, Let's go. Go. Drink, Drink up. up. Drink, Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Great question. Yo, no, I I have, bro. Really? I, I have. Really? I'm gonna say honestly, I haven't watched them all. Okay, yeah, no worries. No I watched, that, but my favorite is probably the one with you and Jennifer. I watched that. You watched that one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, respect, respect. I thought you were actually it's gonna say no, watch. honestly. No, no, no. I watched them. I watched okay, them. okay. Respect, respect. Yeah, Name three them. other vlogs. I <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no, I know, no, but I can't even lie though. I'm gonna be straight up honest. I didn't watch them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, no worries, bro. No worries. I watched them. Thank you. I, watched so I, the clicked, Korea one. I clicked on them. I don't know, maybe don't watch it, but I give you that view. Thank you. <laughs> I watched it. No, I know you do. I saw Thank you, you eat that Tang Hulu and shit. I did? Oh, wow. Real one, real one, <laughs> yeah, recently real one. it was like with your girl. like some. No, no, Korea trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Korea did trip is that? K-Town. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, this bitch did not go to Korea. Bro. I know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Are yeah. you a little butthurt that I'm not watching your video, huh? No, no, no. no I'll I was watch genuinely it. I'll curious because uh, I didn't know you could look through the subscriber list. Mm. Oh. So I could you see not it. subscribe? No, no, no. Oh, I'm not, oh yeah. I'm not subscribed. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I didn't see the name. Wait. Oh, yeah. I did see a Megan you, though. Of course. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see me? Uh, I didn't check recently. I don't know okay. if it was recent, but uh, I, I did been, not I know you can check your whole subscriber one. list. I didn't know either. Oh, really? Yeah. I subscribe. Real one. That's why I see you on my. Oh my yeah. shit! Thank you, thank you. Thank I went you. to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Such cap, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Move All on. right. I got a question for Sola. I'm so scared right yes, now. Yes, yes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where's the shot at? Because you know Sola, she she can't say anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. She's too nice. So, you know, I'm going to push that boundary a little bit. Okay. But let's say your boyfriend right now had a big awakening and was dancing right alongside <laughs> Kev Jumbo. 
<laughs> she was dancing or he was dancing <laughs> right alongside Kev Jumba, you know, exchanging a book for some money. <laughs> Are you still dating Scott? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Say the right answer. No. <laughs> Not the penny. You got memo. <laughs> no. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I am dancing right next to him. No, 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 no. That is a lie. Someone, yo, hey, 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 hey. Someone, hey. Someone's that gotta, is a lie. Someone's got to fucking lie detector yeah, tester, yo. Yeah, someone's yeah, got to yeah, yeah. check that. Someone's got to see it. We should implement a new rule. Blatant lie? You <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Dancing right I next to him. I shaved my head for you too, babe. Oh, <laughs> my, wow. Oh, my. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. No, 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 you no. know what? She's standing on business. Yeah, she is standing on business. She <laughs> will stand on business till yeah, the show. You're just so cat. We're not. This is so cat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my Jeez. goodness. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My question is. Y- Y'all were not raunchy at all. Oh, I, know, I think we I got know. rid of her. We done this for we a while. We done this for yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Megan. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have already talked about this. It's uh-huh. okay. It's okay. But, mm, okay, let me change it. <clears throat> what is something you wanted to try and bet that you never tried? Hmm. I don't know, think hmm. we asked her this. <laughs> Just a bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> What's number one? <laughs> What's number one on that list? Maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Megan's tried a lot of things, though. Yeah. I really haven't. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, really? My partner was vanilla. <laughs> Maybe blindfold. Oh. I haven't even done that, you guys. I'm a loser. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I haven't done that either. Same. Really? Yeah. I'm a loser, too, then. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, big. But yeah. I feel like blindfold gets annoying oh does it really like, well, like you would know, I, right? let me just see now uh. <laughs> like, maybe like a little thai thai uh. situation mm. you know okay that's like realistic too i feel like yeah. that's yeah. like gonna happen maybe yeah for sure okay yeah uh <laughs> easy yep easy, easy well that was truth or drink yeah thank you guys for thank watching for as watching. always <laughs> This was another. So I, so I got a drink, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, All yeah. right, give me that shot. Give me that shot. Give me that shot. Give me that shot. All right, for Kevin. <laughs> Let's see if she makes a face. Wow, like water. <laughs> like water. The Kev Jumba face. Jeez. No, no, no. Okay. We got to chill. We got to chill. That's my guy. Okay, okay. Anyways. Not reveal shit, though. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this week's episode. All right. <laughs> Shout out to everyone that made it to the end of this episode. Real one. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, get us to 50K, man. We're growing yeah. real slowly, but uh, we're getting there. All right. We appreciate yeah. everyone that shows up. Wait, that reminds me. I wanted to say something. I feel like we never ask, as like a squad, anything from the audience and yeah. i do want to say like we always say we want to hit 50k but genuinely i want to let the people know if you are watching and you're not subscribed please subscribe mm-hmm. you're gonna help us because we're all trying to figure it out in our lives still yes. honestly right now and every subscription every view actually helps us a lot and you guys yeah. might think we're balling we're figuring it out still bro so mm-hmm. it'll only yeah. get better the more you guys support us too honestly mm-hmm. so genuinely yeah. from the bottom of my heart bro please support mm-hmm. us yes. Preach. yeah preach <coughs> support and us no go ahead go ahead, ahead. <laughs> And any questions, we always love hearing your guys' questions. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. please comment yep. if you guys have any personal yeah, or random questions you guys Dude, have. Dude, yeah, reading the comments is my favorite part. Yeah. It Especially it YouTube comments. Mm-hmm. YouTube comments are the best. I love YouTube comments. Yep. And I've got a lot of requests from my friends, too. They thought the Hinge, rating the Hinge profiles mm-hmm. was, the, Great. was funny. We should yeah. yeah. run that well. back. So, yeah, like, uh, we back. might run that back soon. All right. Maybe we'll do it, like, a different platform, Tinder or something. I'm down. So, I'm something down. else? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're the 9 for 9 Podcast, baby. Peace out.